All right, y'all, I am trying to figure out how to even stream this. So bear with me as I get a really wonky setup going. Long story short, I stream through my laptop, so I don't have the luxury right now of a double monitor setup. Uh, so I have to do like this really wonky three windowed thing going on. So let me get that all set up. Let me know if the music is too loud. Um, I do have the game music going like on streamer mode, but I don't know. I, I really like Demon Gummy's um, music remix that they did. Let me just make a couple adjustments. Okay think we're good to go. It is on Switch. Um, I got this on Steam for my computer. My friend got me it and uh, so that was on Steam. So I don't have it on my Switch. So I, I want to get it for my Switch but um, right now it's on Steam. And I do a lot of PC gaming so it worked out for me. But, um, oh my gosh. Okay, so I have been obsessed with this game. If you are questioning, if you are questioning on getting this game, stop what you're doing and get it. Okay, this is like the second time I've been able to play it. And I was gonna be that person. I literally made a post. I was like, Disney Dreamlight is not gonna be for me. Like, I was like, this looks dumb. <laughs> like, that's really what I said. And I was like, I'm not gonna play this. Like. <laughs> This looks, it looks like it's made for kids. I know Animal Crossing is made for kids, okay? But I was like, this looks like something my daughter would play. <laughs> and uh, so anyways, one of my moderators, she got me the game. And she's like, Nora, just try it, just try it. And uh, I was like, fine. I mean, she got it for me, so I couldn't say no. Um, so I was like, I'll try it and we'll see how it goes. Worst case scenario, my daughter can have it. Y'all, I woke up at six o'clock on a weekend. Six o'clock on a weekend because I wanted to play, <laughs> I wanted to play this game. Um, I'm addicted to it. I promise Animal Crossing, I'm still playing it, but I'm hoping that this will give me some inspiration. Like I want to do a fairy tale theme, which is kind of crazy that this game is out now and it has actually been inspiring me. So anyways, no idea um, what to do on this game. Now I did make some progress. I best friended like two of the characters. I also flattened my map. So as best as I could. So uh, I think I'm like level 14 now. Let me make sure I have the live chat on, hold on. All right, there we go. I'm obsessed with this game right now, same. like. I am glad I gave it a chance. It's so fun. Now, as for bugs, I don't know about on the Switch, but the only bug that I had so far, keep in mind it's early access, um, my character froze and uh, I had to like restart the game, but that's about it. I basically played the game for eight hours every day for a week. Yeah, this is gonna be me probably. I literally woke up at uh, six o'clock to play this. Um, let's see. Let me catch up on the chat and say hi to everybody real fast. Um, sorry for the thumps, by the way. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Emmy. Hi, Kalayla. Hi, Batty Crossing. Hi, Anna. Thank you so much for the like. Um, who else is with us today? Benjamin. Hi, Benjamin. Catherine. Hi. Hi, Cole. I see studios. Hi, Cadence Crossing. Hello. Hello. Derek. Hello. Okay. I think I got everybody. Um, can y'all hear the game music at all? I did want you, you like to be able to hear some of the talking and stuff. Let me know if you want me to turn off Demon Gummy's music that is playing in the background or um, if you want to keep it on. I'll let y'all choose. Because the music isn't like as often I notice for streamer mode. Um, all right, so I need to go to the Sea Witch. That's where I'm at. So I just did most of the tutorial, but I need to figure out, y'all, where do I get the pickaxe? Those who have been playing. I have been looking for the pickaxe and I have no idea where it's at. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm so glad you're getting inspiration from Oakville. Um, Kiru, is that what your name is? Yes, I hope y'all aren't making me say something bad. Um, all right. 
I'm gonna mine this real fast. I, okay, so I did farm a lot of crops. So the reason why I flattened this whole map is because up here, okay, Kiru. I just wanna make sure I pronounced it right. All right, so I flattened all this up here. I didn't realize that the rain would remove all the dirt. I spent literally all morning and okay, I just wanted to make sure because sometimes people come up here and make me try to make me say mean things. But um, I flattened like this whole area up here to like do crops. But I didn't realize the rain earlier because I didn't have all of it filled in yet. It removed all that hard work. So now I'm gonna have to redo all of this. I know that farming is the best way to get money. Like that was my first impression when I saw farming was in this because I mean, Animal Crossing is like that. Um, I've been doing just carrots and lettuce, but I, I don't know. Someone told me that I can get better crops eventually. Um, get the woods too. What's the woods? I need to look into it. I, okay, so one of my followers, uh, Patricia, if you come up onto the stream, uh, they got me uh, Dinkum. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I've never played Dinkum either. I tried to play it, couldn't figure out the controls. <laughs> But we're gonna try to do it tomorrow and then we're gonna do animal crossing stream this upcoming week um all right let's see canola is quick and easy money pumpkins are good when do i unlock that thank you so much for liking the stream speak to goofy please i want to see what happened haven't heard of this game until now where did he go i'm trying to find this uh pickaxe real fast thank you so much for the sub so if y'all have been, obviously if you've been playing, please help me find the pickaxe, cause I really do need it. Like one of my followers told me it was over here, but I don't see it. Unless, do I already have it? Is this what I needed right here? Is this the pickaxe? <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so I fell in love with this outfit. So Belle is my favorite Disney princess. So when I saw this dress, I was like, oh, I need this. I'm living out my dream of being a Disney princess. Okay, so how do I break the rocks then down here? Where is it? I know I need to go this way to the sea witch. Okay, I just wanted to make sure this was the pickaxe. Um, all right, so I know I need to go down here. So there's like these big rock things right here blocking my way, like, at this bridge. How do I break those? That's what I want to know. I mean, my one of my friends told me I can just go through this way because I was like, for an hour, I was like, how the heck do I go to the sea witch? I can't even get over. Um. So yeah, I y'all need to teach me. Wait, there was softwood? Where? Because I need to get more of that. Okay, I have no idea what I've un unlocked so far. Okay, so... So they okay that makes sense Cole someone told me I needed to upgrade my pickaxe obviously I'm not there yet that makes sense but yeah if you are second guessing this game get it okay if you like Animal Crossing you're gonna like Disney Dreamlight I was trying to be that one person that was like yeah I'm not gonna play this like it doesn't look like something I would enjoy like I said I woke up at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> and started playing like I am addicted to this it is such a fun game let me get these real quick because I know that these are good for um, getting Dreamlight and money. Uh, yeah, I haven't really done too much. I've been, honestly, I probably should have been progressing the story more. But I got distracted with farming. So please bear with me as I'm still very early in the game. Okay, so I think, I think I need to go this way. Mia and me. I've never seen that show. Wait, I can't go to the Sea Witch? I, I had the cutscene. Els, hello, hello. Oh wait, I think this is where I need to go. When I saw the decorate functions, I immediately thought, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what Nora will do. My question is, like what kind of furniture things will I be able to unlock? And what kind of like perspectives, you know? What can we do? Can I, can I break this game like I do on Animal Crossing? That is what I wanna know. Can I do like, you know, structure builds and stuff. Uh, even if I can't, I guess we'll just bring out my inner uh, cottage core girl. <laughs> we'll just go from there. It is fun though. All right, so I, I found her. Is there anything worthy of getting? Yes, let's get this real quick. I have no idea what I'm doing. 
still trying to figure all this out. I see, no problem. Welcome back, welcome back. So, why didn't do I have a full inventory? That is one of my negatives. I hate that my inventory is so full right now. Like, I, I need to expand it. I don't know how to do that yet. Oh, it's huge. I want to do a town theme or something, yeah. Limits you to 600 items placed outside, so it'll be a challenge to decorate. I wonder if we'll get, like, more increasements with that, since it's technically, you know, an early uh, access. Wally is trash core. Okay, we can do... Can uh, My house right now is, like, abandoned looking. We could do... Can we make Disney Dreamlight Valley uh, trashy looking? I don't know what I'm gonna do theme-wise. Does the 600 items count towards trees? Uh, let's see. My camera is kind of in the way. Let me shift myself a little over so I can read that. Are you the one who trapped me here, leaving me to waste away, wretched and alone? Um, okay. Let's see, what do I wanna say to you? Let's see. He sent you to find me. That could mean only one thing. The 600 limit is for furniture only. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm, I mean, can we make Disney Dream like trashy? I'm honestly kind of tempted now. Is If there's a trash bag item in this game, please let me know now. All of my villagers in this game will be covered in trash. His magic isn't powerful enough to get through the spell that locked him in here, but you, on the other hand, oh. you must possess great magic if you got through the cave entrance. Oh, she's gonna totally make a deal with me like she did with uh, Ariel. If you can't get in, that means you can also get out. What do you say, dearie? Will you help your new friend Ursula out of this cave, hmm? Uh, what's in it for me? <laughs> The trash is full of wet chocolate waste. Bro, why are we bringing the wet chocolate back onto this? <laughs> uh, creature after my own heart. All right, dearie, if you get me out of here, I'll tell you all I know about the forgetting. So that is something that I'm still trying to understand, the forgetting. I know it's like some sort of darkness that's like took over Disney Dreamlight Valley. And I guess it's messing with people's memories. That's all I got so far. Uh, yes, Disney Dreamlight Valley. I hope you're enjoying the game. I've been having so much fun. I love it. Hey, girl. Hey, I haven't heard of this game. Is it new? Yes, it came out. Did it come out last week? I was saying earlier, Nina, um, if you like Animal Crossing, you're going to like this game. Two things. I woke up at six o'clock this morning and I could have gone back to bed. This is a weekend. Why am I awake at six o'clock? But then I remembered... <laughs> I could play Disney Dreamlight, no one else is awake. So I have been playing nonstop, but I've been wasting time on farming, so I'm not very far um, into the story yet. How did you get trapped here? By no fault of my own, I assure you. Or, I mean, angelfish. You see, before the forgetting happened, the pillar of power, they have been saying that, the pillar of power. I don't know what that is yet. Protected Dazzle Beach from curses of evil magic. I'm assuming I'm on Dazzle Beach. <laughs> yes, rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. That's a lot of like Twitter posts on that uh, last few days. Um, let's see. You see, before the forgetting happened, the pillar of power protected Dazzle Beach from curses of evil magic. Okay. But soon after the forgetting began, a starfish told me someone had stolen the orb. That's something I noticed that has been a trend lately. I've been collecting these orbs and I don't really know what they do. <laughs> Can someone remind me what the orbs are for? Um, I know you put them in like the pillar, but what does it exactly do? Um, from the pillar and hit it in a cave on the beach. Okay, so you can't really compare it really to Animal Crossing because they're obviously two different games. But if you love how Animal Crossing plays, like the simulation part and just, you know, the cozy kind of vibes, then yes, you're gonna probably love this game. I think what really helps is if you are a Disney fan. I grew up with Disney princesses and just like, you know, the movies as a child. So I was excited to try it out for that reason. Now, I at first thought this looked completely dumb. Like I literally told my husband, I was like, I'm not gonna play this because it looks dumb to me. It looks like something my toddler would play. And then one of my moderators got me the game and she's like, Nora, just try it. Everyone's playing it right now. What is the harm? So I was like, fine, 
I'll try it. I'm like, but I'm not gonna like it. Thank you so much, Donna, for the sub. So I went through that mindset. Uh, it's not Animal Crossing. I'm an Animal Crossing snob, okay? I love my Animal Crossing. Y'all know that. I, I mean, my, my main channel is focused on Animal Crossing. So like trying new games, it's very hard for me, especially when I have like a routine, you know? I know what to expect with Animal Crossing. With new games, that's the challenge for me, you know? So I tried it out and I fell in love with it. It's so cute. If you grew up watching the movies, there's a lot of Easter eggs. If you're not sure what that means, basically like, you know, like little snippets of like what the movies are, like hidden little, you know, goodies that they brought in from the movies. And it's so cute. It is so cute. Uh, please, Nina, don't tell me I'm gonna be a chronic restarter. I don't wanna have to go through all the story again. But, um, so in a short summary, if you love Disney, you love how Animal Crossing plays, you'll probably love this game. Obviously, it's very hard to compare apples to oranges. Animal Crossing is very different in many ways. So is Disney Dreamlight, but they're also very similar. If you love farming and you love decorating, then you're probably gonna love Disney Dreamlight. I don't think you can build like Terraform. I'm not sure, I'm not in there yet. Y'all can, um, Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong on that because I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure you can't terraform. So that is a negative. But the very first Animal Crossing game I played didn't have terraform and I absolutely loved it. So um, do not time skip. Why can't I time skip? I did that two times earlier. <laughs> is it bad? Will I get in trouble? <laughs> um, all right, imprisonment in this horrid cave. Let me finish this dialogue up so I can see what's going on. Can't terraform, but you can put things in water. Okay, so one of my friends told me this, yes. So we can decorate water, which is really cool. I wish we could terraform because I would add probably a lot of like waterscape and stuff, but I still think it is really cute. And keep in mind, um, this is pre like access, like early access right now. So I'm sure they're gonna add more content to it. Um, so Sean, why shouldn't I fill me in on this? <laughs> Messes up the game mechanics, okay. I won't do it anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. I won't do it no more. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Poor you. <laughs> thank y'all for letting me know. <laughs> Finally, someone who cares about me. Thanks, Angelfish. You're a doll. Now, where were we? Oh, the orb isn't here. It must be hidden in another cave on the beach. Okay. Someone did tell me that there was another cave. So that makes sense only if you go back in time once you go forward in time okay gotcha well you know like it's on my computer it's not on my switch so um you know we might just have to just deal with it you know not time travel um all right i've read others have run into glitches by time traveling and said don't do it maybe that's why my character froze like i had a issue where my character froze let me get a drink of my monster and um like my character just froze and in process that i ate fruit so maybe it's because i was being a dirty cheater all right let's continue yes get the game get it you won't regret it um orb is in here okay i read that dialogue so if you get me out i'll tell you everything you need to know about the forgetting. Do we have a deal, dearie? You know, I feel like making a deal with her is a bad thing, but I'm feeling rebellious mm. tonight. I need something called a crystal key to enter the cave where the orb is held, okay? I have it here, and I'll even part with it for free as long as you promise not to forget me while you're off running around. Okay, okay. I don't have a Steam Deck. Everyone's been like saying it's worth getting, but I don't know. I don't have one. I literally had to restart my game for time traveling. Please, I hope that's not me, Tree's Bounty Arch. Oh my gosh, I will cry. Oh, wait, what am I supposed to do? Now that me being stuck would be too hard, would be so bad now, would it, pet? Um, you could teach me some magic. What am I doing? I got distracted and missed what was going on. I won't agree to Ursula. Did I mess it up by not like saying the right thing? Let's see. Hello, 
And here I thought I knew everyone in the village. Who are you, Angelfish? Are you the one who trapped me here, leaving me to waste away, wretched and alone? I'm the hero of the valley. A hero, you say? Uh, uh. Why, that's just what I need, you see. I'm stuck in this rotten cave. Won't you help a poor girl out? Let me finish this dialogue so I don't have to go through all this again. All right, so she already told me about this. Will you help your new friend? How do I get you no. out? By breaking the spell on the cave, you fool. <laughs> I mean, angelfish. Yes. You see, before the forgetting happened, the pillar of power protected Dazzle Beach from curses of evil magic. Okay, we read that. Having to go through all the dialogue again because I was too busy getting distracted. Um, okay. Oh. What's my reward for my good to lead imprisonment from this horrid cave? You tell me you got trapped in this cave trying to help the village. You're lying, I can tell. Think you're rather <laughs> clever, don't you? Well, perhaps I had my own reasons for seeking the orb of power. I'll never tell anyway. The orb isn't here. It must be hidden in another cave on the beach, okay? If you get me out, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the forgetting. Do we have a deal? Deal. Uh -huh. I needed something called a crystal key to enter the cave where the orb is held. I have it here, and I'll even part with it free as long as you promise not to forget me while you're off running around. Okay, so I got the crystal key. Why is it doing that? Is it, oh, because I need to drop it. All right. <laughs> All right. Mm, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. When the good and the bad form an alliance. You have it in your inventory full, so you need to open those satches. I, did I put it in my inventory now? I think I did. If you want to time skip, use your computer for that, and you can use the switch for Animal Crossing. For sure. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you can teach me some magic. Why are you still here? Okay, so we're Show good now. I think. Alright, so I, I'm assuming I got everything I needed. No problem, Els, no problem. Thank you, Kalayla, for liking the stream. Okay, so there's another cave that we need to go to. Please like the stream, it really does help me out. Um, where is the other cave? I'm trying to see where we're going. Might as well get some goodies while we're looking around. I wonder, well, I'm gonna check over here, but feel free to give me hints on where to go. I recommend making sure you have at least one slot open every time you do a quest because some people have had glitches where they don't get important items because their inventory was full. Okay, let me go empty that. Pull behind the banana tree. That's where the other cave is. We'll go back there in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and empty my inventory. Um, get rid of some stuff. What is in my inventory? Oh yeah, I need to open these. Go ahead and get those done. I keep forgetting to open these velvet carpet. I still have not done anything with my house because I have no idea how to even upgrade my house. <laughs> my house is literally a shack right now that's like falling apart. Let's see. Oh, cute dress. All right, let me go store some stuff that I don't really need right now. I've been putting these chests like everywhere. Uh, Oh, this one's full. Lovely. <laughs> In my every like chest has been full so far. When does my storage upgrade? Like for just in general. I guess I'm gonna go check these ones up here real quick. I'm gonna go sell the flowers. You follow Scrooge's early quest to start upgrading your house. Okay. I need to I need to start focusing on that. That's important, I know, but let's get rid of like the materials because I know I'll need that for later. I'll probably sell all the other stuff and deal with it later. Um, storing that. I'm gonna keep the fruit because you never know. All right, let me go sell the rest. You have to upgrade the outside of the house to get more storage inside, okay. Well, as you can see, 
it's not upgraded. Save my seaweed? Okay. Thank you for letting me know. He's like, I have no idea why I'm saving it, so don't spoil it for me, but I will save it. I will save the seaweed. Anything else in here worth saving before I sell it? Emmy, no problem. All the way back there, there is a pedestal you put the key in it. Okay. I'm assuming back where the beach was, because I was just like, you know, emptying all that. Okay, so my my map in general is very ugly looking because I flattened it. So when if you get this game, it's gonna look like a little miniature fairy tale um, castle town. That's what it's gonna look like for you. Right now, mine is very boring because I wanted to flatten it to decorate it later. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. So you're telling me to collect all the seaweed and just keep storing it is what I'm getting, right? All right, let's see. So now my inventory is pretty much empty. Let me go, I guess, back to the beach. Hi, Thomas, welcome to the stream. All right, I will, random question, but have you played Breath of the Wild? Yes, I actually have the game and I'm planning to restart it, but I am worried that y'all aren't gonna wanna watch that because it's been like, you know, out for a while and I'm absolutely awful at it. Lots of iron and mushrooms when you unlock those biomes. Okay, so y'all said I need to do something with that crystal. Is, is it over here? Is, or is that for the orb? You know, that's for the orb. Where's that banana tree that y'all told me about? Uh, Sean, okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. Save the clam and oyster, I sold those. <laughs> I should have been paying attention and waited. We are spamming you because we love you. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> the spam bots are here. Behind where the orb goes. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the banana tree. Okay, so right here and place okay so then that makes sense then but yeah this game has been so fun i definitely recommend it if like i said if you like animal crossing you're probably gonna like this game too all right what's going on so what am i trying to get for her this orb this game is so cute. Like, I'm obsessed with it. Provide the gem that matches best to continue your hero's quest. What gem? Was I supposed to get something all the way back? Okay. Y'all are gonna help me. have to help me with this. I'm absolutely awful with puzzles. Just letting you know. Is that the, no, that's, I think that's just a decorative rock. Hold on, Nora. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm, I'm bad at puzzles. And absolutely just awful with it. I'm trying to see. Is there something to mine? Is that what y'all are saying? Hi, Diane. Welcome to the stream. You have to mine gems? Well, where, where do I mine? Do I have to leave this and go find some gems? Is that what y'all are trying to say? I have to leave this and go mine some gems to bring? Not in here? Oh man. Okay. Garnet, aquamarine, and okay. Wait, let me go check my storage. Y'all let me know if I have what I need. Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering, I was like, I swear I do not see anywhere to mine. All right, thank y'all so much. Y'all are the best. Thank you for helping me. All right, let's go check the storage. Hi, Nora, so excited to catch a stream. Bay, oh my gosh, hi, welcome to the stream. Emerald, okay, take gems and put them in the puzzle, okay. Let's check my storage. I, let's see, is there anything in here that we need? My webcam's kind of covering what I need. Grab seeds, what kind of seeds? Let me see. I, my, my face is like literally in the way. Maybe I'll move it over here so we can see better. 
Um, just ignore my green screen being wonky. Uh, what kind of seeds do I need? Um, all right, garnet. Okay, y'all said I needed one of these, right? So I'll grab that. Um, what other ones did I need? Again, let's see, garnet. Um, is this the garnet that I need right here? And let's see, I'm trying. Is that it right here? The shiny garnet? Oh, crud, I did not mean to do that. All right, let me put that back in. Hi, Caroline, welcome to the stream. Oh, it can't be shiny? Come on now, that's cheap. <laughs> Has to be a regular garnet, are you kidding me? Okay, let's go check my other storage because I have like two other chests up here. I have nothing in my house. In my house, I'm hoarding uh, branches, <laughs> like lots of branches. Um, night shard. I know I need, to, I need to do something with these dream lights that I'm hoarding. If it matches what you need for the open gates. Okay, so obviously I'm missing some stuff. Um, let's see. Quest. I'm trying to find it. Where's the the quest that I'm supposed to be doing? With great power. So why is it not popping up on here? Carrot, wheat, and tomato seeds. Okay. Let me go ahead and grab that real quick. Not in this one. What's in this one right here? Carrot, um, wheat. I don't have tomato seeds. Where do I get that? Elves get it. It's so cute. With great power. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was under the impression it would be like uh, Ursula on there. So what do I do? Do I just go and mine the... Um, Deposits all over the town. Is that what I do? Do Goofy sells tomatoes on the beach? Gotcha. Okay. Well, there's Goofy right there. <laughs> Can I talk to him here? Oops, I just went inside the house. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Where did he go? How, where, how did he leave that fast? A split second. A split second and he's already gone? Where did he go? I was gonna talk to him there, but I guess I'll just go towards the beach. Oh, I need to open his shop on the beach. Okay. I thought I did that. Queen V, no problem. Thank you so much for being here. Get some good rest. Is it on this one? If you click on the map, you can track them. Okay, good to know. Is there like a way to like, okay, cool. I was like, is there a way to know? Why can't Animal Crossing do that? All right, talking to him. How's it going? Of course, my webcam's in the way. So just moving, casually moving myself back over here. Um, yeah, he's not gonna sell me anything, it doesn't look like. So I guess I will have to go down here and open. On his beach to get tomato seeds, gotcha. Well, that's not a good thing because I know for a fact I have not upgraded him fully. So I guess we need to grind is what we're saying. The other side. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let me go back all the way over here. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you so much for uh, letting me know. I hope I said your username right. Onar? Onair? Thank you so much. I'm still trying to figure all this out. I, If y'all always wondered why my name was Horrible Gaming, today's stream will be a great example of this. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> no idea. I know the Disney vibes are so fun, especially when you're like removing things. Like it's so magical. It is very cute. I My daughter's jealous of this game right now. She's like, oh, you get to be a princess. I'm like, yep, and you don't. That's what I, t oh, uh, that's what I think. All right, where is the stall? Let's look around. 
it's just so pretty and fun to play. Like I said, there's a reason why I woke up at six o'clock in the morning. Um, oh, there it is. Is this it? Do I even have enough money? Oh, How do you like the game? I haven't started yet. My son is streaming it on Twitch. I love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. it. I'm so happy that I love this game because when I'm feeling stressed out on Animal Crossing, I'm gonna be playing some Disney Dreamlight. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, yes, Caroline, same. Okay, good, it's not a lot to set up, but my money is limited as is. Yeah, I don't know why the squirrel's following me. I, I think, do they like, like me because I gave them an apple and now it's like, oh my gosh, you're my friend now? Well, that is no tomato seeds, so I guess upgrade again. My companion? I wanted a bunny rabbit. I will take a squirrel though. Improve? How many times to improve it? Y'all give me one second. I'm gonna take a drink and my nose is kind of runny. So covering my face. All right, we're good. Didn't want y'all to see me wiping snot off my face. All right, how many times? Oh, there's tomato and tomato seeds. There. Change. Oh, click on critters. Okay. How many tomato seeds? I just I'm gonna get all of them. And what is? Oh, sugar cane. That's new. No, I did not. Be careful. Don't time travel in Animal Crossing. Don't try and travel like an Animal Crossing. I'll mess up the game. So I figured that out now, and I will not do it anymore. So thank y'all for letting me know. Um, I went ahead and bought multiple of these because I need a farm. Oh, what am I? I did not mean to buy more. Um, I need to farm stuff anyways. Like, I like to grab multiple because I'm planning to hopefully get a lot of money out of these. I know, Goofy is adorable. So now do I just go around the world and look for like stuff to mine? Is that what I do next? Because I don't have... I don't think I have everything. Jordan, hi. Okay, so I have been farming carrots. Like that's the only one that was making me a decent amount of money. So uh, that's good to know that I was on the right track. If you time travel ahead, you'll have to wait till that time in real life in this game for all the glitches to clear up. Oh, okay, so I will not time travel anymore it's a pain in the butt to do on my computer anyways so I'll, i think you know just avoiding it in general would be um you know smarter anyways all right so i'm just gonna go look for stuff to mine please don't be a shiny i can't believe i'm saying that because usually i'm like yes give me a shiny because like pokemon and stuff let me move this over here so where we, we can kind of see what we're we're doing. All right. Why is it a shiny? Okay, so that didn't work out. If you can see the star on your item, that's for your quest. So the purple star thingy? Okay. Guess we'll have to keep looking for them. You know, something I did like is how fast things spawn. Also, for some reason, I cannot get these uh, chest over here to open for the life of me like my Wi-Fi is completely good and I restarted the game and everything but I can't get these to open like at all no idea why so I think that might be a bug because then it says like oh can't connect to server or collect this so I was like oh maybe I'll reset my game and Wi-Fi yeah I can't get it to open like my Wi-Fi is good and it's just not working. I have several of them. So it's like, I just want to get rid of them because it's driving me nuts. I don't want to see them. Let's see, I'm gonna go up here and look. I don't know, I still think I like Animal Crossing better, maybe just because I'm used to it and I couldn't get the hang of the new one. So I, I love Animal Crossing and I feel like it's very hard to compare the two games together because they're very different but they're very similar. So it's like, 
I think I totally understand that though because like I I was actually just talking about that earlier. I am very stubborn and I was like, you know, I'm not going to like this game because I'm so used to Animal Crossing. This looks like something my kid would play. Why would I want to play it? And then I tried it and I'm like, I like this game quite a bit. Uh, so I say give it a chance, you know, because it might surprise you. It really shocked me. Like, I did not think I was going to love it as much as I do. I have to say this is quickly becoming one of my new favorite games. So I will be getting the... I only have base game right now. I'm gonna once I get paid, I'm getting all the I'm getting the deluxe edition. I want to have all the expansions. I am all for this. I see. Me too. I'm curious what other characters they'll add. Oh, there was a lettuce that I didn't pick up. All right, so I actually unlocked. I want to go this way. I think it's on this beach. I unlocked this like super creepy woods yeah this place here i'm gonna go see if there's anything to mine over here katie do it you will not be uh upset if you are a disney fan you like how animal crossing plays you will love this my every time i'm like over here i'm like oh my webcam's in the way i shift myself i'm gonna now that i know that y'all said that that little star icon's gonna show up i don't need to worry about it covering my name I'm going to up, let's see, do I have enough to upgrade it? It works for let's me. See. <laughs> oh, greetings, Yeah, neighbor. I can upgrade it. Oh, I don't have any money. <laughs> Can't upgrade it. Kindly. All right, so we're going to need to make some money. Look, that's what it's looking like. So let's go see if we can find any mines. I guess get rid of some of the vines too while we're at it. And make some money. Can I move? Out of curiosity, can I move this stuff over to like the meadow part of the world? Because I've been putting like all of my trees and um, berry bushes all together. So can I move these all the way over there if we like the world at it? If so, that'll make my life so happy. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so something if you are somebody watching, you're not sure if you want to get it yet. What really made me go, oh my gosh, I love this, was the landscaping feature. Animal Crossing doesn't have this. Y'all check this out as I'm like struggling already. Let's see, what's the button to do it again? I'm trying to trying to remember, you can like zoom really out, but I'm obviously trash at it and my webcam is covering the controls. I am called Horrible Gaming, so please and do enjoy. <laughs> Watching me struggle. RT and uh, left. Okay. There we go. I did it, y'all. Finally. Check this out. Y'all, like, you can decorate your world just like this. Like, you know how Happy Home Paradise works? It's like this. And that's, like, on the main world. Animal Crossing needs this, like, on the next game. Because that was something I was, like, super excited about. So I, what I was trying to get at is over here where is it uh okay over here you can even move trees from the other bombs you haven't unlocked oh nice oh yes happy birthday julia all right let's see yeah so i've been putting like all of my trees together like right here so that's what I've been doing to make like my life a little bit easier. Yes, everybody wish Julia a happy birthday. If y'all want to really know, that's my grandmother. So tell my grandmother happy birthday or I'll wish you a horrible day. <laughs> all right. Um. All right, let's see. But anyways, that's what I was like really excited about. I was like, oh my gosh, we can decorate like this. Um. So anyways, that was a big thing. Nora, you can track this quest by clicking on it in your quest menu. Did I not do that? I thought I did. You can move the wells? Oh, that is a game changer. Thank you, everybody. Yes, happy birthday, Julia. AKA Mama. Happy birthday. All right. Let's see. Oh, these wells right here. I don't think I can right now, though. Can I? Because I haven't unlocked it. Oh, I guess I can. But I think it'd be smart to keep the well here. 
Like, put it near the entry at least. Well, not an entry. That makes no sense. Why would I put it at the entry, Nora? That makes literally no sense. I'm like, I'm gonna put it at the entry. No, put it in like the middle of it. All right, so anyways, that's what's something that sold me. But the fact that I can take this now from the spooky, creepy forest, whatever this is, um, that makes me happy because I'm trying to put all of my stuff together. All right, so the mushrooms, these. What are these good for? Y'all keep telling me to grab them. Can I not pick this up? Or am I not doing something right? Why can't I pick it up? Okay, I clearly could not pick that up for some reason. My inventory is not full. I could get rid of some of these tomato seeds. Oh, for cooking. So basically, don't sell them. Put them in my storage. If I'm, uh, you know, understanding. Oh, yeah, I did time travel. <laughs> so it's probably going to be buggy. But I did go back to regular time. Like, you know, real time. So I guess... It's being all buggy for that. Okay, so I will not time travel anymore. Shame on me for being a dirty cheater. But at least these ones are working. So my goal, I guess, for tonight's stream, I'm going to try to make some more money to upgrade um, that stall. And go from there, I guess. Oh, I thought that was a place to dig. It was just an orb that I needed to grab. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. What are these things for? I've been seeing these pop up, like, a lot. If it's something that will spoil the story, don't tell me. <laughs> but I've just been curious. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay. Let's go travel back. The Forgotten. Okay. Okay. I was, I, I was so confused. I was like, what is this? Okay, so I'm gonna go save some of these tomato seeds because your girl here needs some money apparently. So I'm gonna go store some of them. Do tomatoes make a lot of money besides carrots? I did, I have been hoarding quite a bit of um, crop stuff. I'm gonna put these in here for now to keep. They can, okay. So what I'm gonna do is go get my farming buddy, Mickey. And I guess we'll just put these uh, gems back in here since there's nothing I can do. I know I need to like do something with the dream light. I think I do something with them with the crafting table, but I'm not gonna focus on that right now. Y'all told me to keep these. Uh, what is this? Cocoa bean? Is the cocoa bean worth keeping or is it just for energy? Katie, I just want to say thank you so much for all your content. You've been so wonderful, inspiring, and keeping things fun. Katie, thank you. But once you upgrade that stall in the swamp slash weird area, you need to plant at least 100 of the okra seeds and make it at least 100k. Okay. Don't waste the pink shards. So do I keep them in my storage like I've been doing? Because, like, I've been crafting them at, like, I think it's the crafting table. Is there an important thing for them that I should save them for then? Is that what you're saying, Sean? Um, alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead and put the gems in there. Okay, it's part of the quest. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, don't craft my pink shards. Y'all are the best. Seriously, thank you. Because I would have been over here like, oh, I'm gonna go sell all this. Just get some extra money out of it. And then I'll be stressed out later. <laughs> so thank you, thank you. Okay, I am gonna go definitely plant all of these. Um, as you can see, I like to, to hoard stuff. <laughs> like, a lot. All right, I'm gonna go sell some of those flowers. Where the heck is Mickey? Sean, seriously, not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Cause I have no, I'm, I'm learning this still. I have no idea what I'm doing. So all the help is appreciated. I think Mickey is probably wandering still. I think he is. Where the heck are you, Mickey? I know I can track. I keep forgetting I can track them. You see, I'm so used to playing Animal Crossing. Oh, are you 
Are you kidding me? I'm like, I'm gonna try to figure out. He came out of that house. There is no way. There is no way he was in that house. Why did he come out of that house? Okay. I, I, I need a net. I need a net like on Animal Crossing to hit Mickey on the head. Come on now, that, are you hey kidding there. me? You are no longer my best friend. I know his little walk, he's like so happy. I love it. All right, I'm moving this over again. I, I, I've been like shifting my webcam through this whole stream already. Let's hang out. It's basically Disney Animal Crossing, yes. You need to get it. I will be still playing Animal Crossing. Like I plan to do like Animal Crossing content on Monday. So my three, no, my four games right now that you are going to see on the channel, Disney Dreamlight, Dinkum, um, Stardew Valley. Okay. There's more than four <laughs> Animal Crossing. Um, I want to start playing some more Planet Zoo. So those are going to be like the, the games that I'm going to be streaming on the channel. Like I'm obviously going to still do Animal Crossing. It's always going to be my main focus for as long as Animal Crossing is a thing. Uh, but I'm, these are my other games I've been really enjoying. I've also been playing a lot of Skyrim. That's my all time favorite game, but no one really cares about it anymore. <laughs> so that's on my own personal time. But as for other games, that's, that's what I'm planning to add to the channel. When you do the castle, do Remy first. Okay, so I did do Remy. Like I got that done first. Uh, and then Wally. Okay, so Wally next. I am obsessed with this game. Just wish they would fix the spawn rates of some things and the frequent crashes on the Switch. I am on the PC, so I have no idea how awful it is for the Switch right now. From what um, from what y'all have been saying, the glitches have been awful. So I haven't really had any issues on the PC yet. But uh, let me fix my webcam. It's kind of fuzzy. But um, as for like you know bugs on the computer. I haven't really seen anything yet besides like my character freezing, but that was because I was being a dirty cheater. So I haven't really had any issues. Kyle. Oh my gosh. Hey, welcome to the stream. So a summary Disney animal crossing, but without terraforming it kind of like, I guess that's the best way I could explain it. So no terraforming, but you get to decorate and farm. So I want to say Disney Animal Crossing, but no terraform. So it doesn't bother me about the terraforming part because my first Animal Crossing game um, didn't even have terraform. So that's not an issue for me. Y'all give me one second. Okay, sorry. My nose is like really runny and it's driving me nuts. Yeah, so very interesting. That's how I felt too. So um, is there any way to get rid of this dang squirrel? I mean, no, no hate against the squirrel. It's just, if I'm gonna have a bestie, I want it to be a bunny rabbit. But yeah, I mean, it is an early access still, so they'll fix and patch the game as needed. All right. Literally, my character just looked like it was itching her butt right now. <laughs> just because I was spam eating the fruit. I Was I the only one who saw that? I was like, my my inner child was like, hey, you look like you just itched your booty. Literally, just that's what it looked like. When the next time I have to do it, you'll see it. And then you won't be able to unsee it. You're welcome. I know, I am always sick. I had COVID twice. So, I'm like... I think I'm still trying to get over the second strain of it because I still have the cough and my nose and congestion is pretty awful the last couple days. It's also everything is dying right now because of season change. So I have bad allergies too. Yeah, I the second strain that I got of it was the worst, honestly, than the first time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just farm. Okay, so I'm mad because I had all of this, literally all of this was filled in for farming. Then it rained and I didn't have all of the um, things filled in 
and it washed it away. Oh, it's because I time skipped? So that's what I get. I thought it was because it was raining. Well, if that's not a great example of why you shouldn't time travel, I don't know what is. Well, that's what I get. I guess I deserved it. What are these little, um, what are they called? These right here. I know it says they're perfect for gardening, but exactly what? Uh, go and get, go get what back? Oh yeah, Jordan, like my allergies. I'm pretty sure, like, besides the lingering cough, I think if anything, it's just my allergies acting up because I don't really feel sick, you know? Like when I had COVID, I was, yeah, I felt sick. I felt awful. So I'm thinking it's just my allergies. I need it. And the thing is, I'm allergic to like a lot of medication. So I can't even take Flonase or congestion medicine or I'll end up in the emergency room. So your girl has to tough it out and go with natural remedies. So throw me some natural remedies out there. Energy refills when you go into your house. So how, how do I do that? Do I just, I don't even have a bed in there. My person has not slept. <laughs> just like me, I never sleep. But no, there's no bed in there. Is there a free bed or maybe like a pillow? I'm trying to dig all this up and make it a nice, um, you know, big old garden spot. Just go in there. Okay, cool. Good to know. I will start doing that then. Florida weather is awful right now. Speaking of Disney, there was a tornado. Oh my gosh. We haven't had any storms here in Louisiana lately. It's actually been really pretty out. It's super weird. It's like, but it has been humid. So like add the humidity and like things dying out because of, you know, seasonal change. My nose is killing me. Oh yeah, y'all said I can just go into my house. Just automatically does it, okay. Well, let's go in there. Oh my gosh, y'all are my best friends. Thank you. Oh my, why is Mickey in here? Oh, he's following me. I forgot about that. Anyways, this is my gorgeous house. We're going for a trash core kind of vibe. There, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to keep it. Like, can I destroy Disney uh, Dreamlight? Can I, can I make this the ugliest town possible? <laughs> Just, you know, trap all of the villagers living in trash bags. Go to bed. Thank you, Kalayla. <laughs> Your house is gorgeous, Nora. It's trash court Disney. That will be our, that's the theme I'm going for. Oh, I could change the squirrel. Wardrobe, okay. I also kind of want to change your house. Mickey is judging your house hardcore. He's just jealous. He wishes that house could be his. He's definitely jealous. Also, there's this weird glitch where I walk and like my leg, I, like once one of my legs just like goes so tiny. Like I'll show you that in a second. All right, let's change. Let's change it to something comfy. Tornadoes are very skinny. Where is, there it is. All right, companions. Oh, I, apparently I really like squirrels. Okay, I really, I really like, honestly, that one right there. We'll do that one. So I am assuming I can make more companions and switch them out as I want. So cute. Why can't Animal Crossing have little companions? How adorable. Oh, that's so cute. What other animals do we get besides squirrels and bunnies? Do we get anything else? All right. I think Mickey is almost level 10 friendship. I'm not sure. Feed them two days in a row. Sweet. I'm gonna be friends with all of the critters. Besties with all of them. Oh, I need a crocodile because I'm from uh, Louisiana. So that'll be my buddy. Raccoons. 
Okay, but the raccoon kind of makes sense if we're going for a trashy kind of vibe. Maybe I can just be the raccoon lady. A fox would be adorable. Okay, I, I, if there's a lot of trashy items, then yes, we'll, we'll make the ugliest town, the trashiest town you've ever seen. However, if there is any building stuff, we might we might do some building. Wolfie, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Oh, I keep forgetting that y'all told me I can just go back into the house. If there's there if there's a fox, is there really a fox? Yeah, he is judging. Who's like what? What is going on here, girl? Like what? I like I don't like what you have done with your house. Literally has that look on his face. Hi, welcome to the stream. Okay, so yeah, I I want a fox. We definitely need a fox. Fox, a crocodile, and a raccoon. I think that will be on my to-do list. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's so cute that they added that. I truly cannot wait to see what else they add to the game. Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful evening. I hope I say your name right, Neff. Can I just call you Neff? Thank you so much for coming to the stream. Oh yeah, Mickey literally, he looks, the look on his face, he looks like he's dead inside. He's like, I'm in pain. That's how he looks. Literally, he just looks like he's going through a crisis right now, mentally. I've been there, Mickey. Trust me, I know the struggle. It's okay. He probably also doesn't want to be here while I'm just digging up all these holes either. He's in pain. Or he knows that I got some really interesting plans for the town involving destruction. I think the fox is in the frozen area. I have not unlocked that. So, there'll be a second. Which forest is the raccoon in? Is it in the creepy one that I unlocked, or is that- I feel like that, if anything, the crocodile is in the creepy forest. Okay, I have a while, apparently, till I get there. I am so glad y'all told me about this, because I'm, like, spamming fruit 24-7. Okay, perfect. Well, Neff, thank you so much for being here. That little tree item surrounded by brick looks like the AC&H item from the 2.0 update. This one? The banana tree? There's so many cute items. Kyle, the decorating option in this world is like chef's kiss. It's every, it's like happy home paradise, but on your actual like island. It's insane. Like, I just, like look at this. This, I can decorate the world like this. I actually need more trees while I'm at it for the softwood. Um, and it's like, no, you don't have to, so you know, craft these. It's like, I wish Animal Crossing was like that. So, Nintendo, take some notes. But yeah, there's like tropical stuff. Um, you know, ooh, this would be good for the disaster theme if I go with that option. But like, look at all this. Do you see that? And that, and then you have furniture. Like, you unlock furniture. You need to buy it. It is addicting. So like you get different kinds of furniture and stuff. I don't know what else we all get, but like just a kind of a snippet. Uh, let's see, let me do all. It is so fun. I wanna get the um, other packages. So I have like the deluxe version right now. I just have base as well. But like look at all of these items already. Like so many options. Um, these are like pathways right here. I have no idea what, what vibe I'm gonna do yet. Oh, and check this out, Kyle. You can pick up the house. Let's say, oh, I don't like how this house looks here. I can just move it somewhere else. But I have no idea what my vibe is. Like I've been flattening, like my whole entire map is pretty much flat besides like a couple of things. But like, I have no idea what I'm doing decoration wise. I've just been moving things out of the way as needed. But yeah, so that's kind of like, a little snippet pretty cool huh you have to wait for it uh to do it look in the forest and in the swap sean thank you so much for letting me know yes i know like this game like a lot of the mechanics i'm just like why didn't animal crossing have this technically animal crossing did on happy home paradise but why not on our actual like island this would this 
that alone, that feature alone, probably would keep a lot of people that has um, content creator wise left the community or just took a break. That probably would have kept them playing, just having that option. So, Nintendo better take notes. Oh, I know I, I, that is something that I, is very similar to Animal Crossing. Whenever I mean to hit something else, I remove the other thing. <laughs> like that, for example. But um, there's a lot of features that I'm like, oh, wow, Animal Crossing, please next game give us. Ramona, it is so addictive. <laughs> like I was saying in the beginning of this stream, I woke up at six o'clock in the morning on a weekend. I had the option of going back to bed, but instead I was like, do I go back to bed or do I take advantage of the fact that everybody is asleep and play some Disney Dreamlight? So that is what I did. And it has been so fun. So fun. Just love the game. And like the grinding part of it too. It's just so fun. I can't wait to see what else they add. What? Oh yeah, I need to clear some of these. Oh yeah, I think my leg's trying to do the thing. Oh, it's not today. So when I was running, one of my legs like was completely normal, but then the other one would like shrink to like little, little tiny, little like line. It was like glitchy looking like Slenderman. Uh, it was weird, but it's not, oh wait, it's trying to do it now, I think. It's trying, but yeah, uh, let's see. Where is, oh, there it is, I'm gonna sell it. Oh yeah, he's fishing, he's just having a uh, fun time. So Disney owns the game, but I, I don't know who actually made it. I don't know if they actually created it. I need to look into that. It's like a cross between Animal Crossing and Sims. You know, that's funny that you say that, Ramona. So I saw a lot of like, a lot of the, like, especially the character style, it kind of gives me the Sims vibes too. I was thinking that earlier. I was like, Sims Animal Crossing mashup. That's what it reminds me of. So it's funny that you said that. Cause I thought that to myself like earlier this morning. Um, do I need these little gardening patches or can I sell them? Let me know before I make the mistake on selling them. But I'm just tired of hoarding onto them. I have like so many of them. Oh, keep them. So this is why I asked you all that. Because I was going to sell them. I did sell like um, a stack of them earlier. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, there's my storage. Thank you. I actually probably should do that right now. Save. I will go ahead and put these in here so I'm not tempted to get rid of them. I stored them. Sean, you have been teaching me to keep everything. <laughs> Allie, thank you so much for all of this. All the tips on today. Y'all have been amazing. I appreciate you because obviously I'm very early in the game still and y'all are definitely further into it. So thank you for having my back. Like, I appreciate that, because I would have probably been further into the game, like, oh, crud, what do I do now? But yeah, this game has seriously stole my heart. Like, I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love my Animal Crossing still, but if you're wanting a small break from Animal Crossing, maybe you're not inspired, maybe you're hitting a creative wall because i have no idea what my next island theme is going to be quite yet i'm hoping that disney dreamlight actually helps inspire um an idea that i'm wanting to do so if you're going through kind of the same thing i'm going through you just don't know what to do on your island you want a small little break but you still want to kind of get you know that animal crossing kind of vibe that um you know has like a lot of cute features disney dreamlight's for you i i this game surprised me I was second guessing it because like I said earlier, I was like, this doesn't look like something I would enjoy. And if, uh, hopefully this just means enough for y'all. I, I woke up at six, um, six o'clock in the morning to play. <laughs> Cause that's how much I've been enjoying it. So I hope that maybe that kind of gives you a pretty decent idea on how much I love the game already. 
Oh yeah, I saw on Steam, I'm already 70 hours in. And I'm like, how? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. But then I realized I've been wasting a lot of time just farming. <laughs> so that's probably why. Because I've been doing what you're seeing me do right now. I was doing that with crops that weren't really, you know, getting me too much money. But I don't know. It's just so fun and relaxing. I got on the Switch, but nice thing, it's a cross-platform game. So you can play it on Xbox, PS4, and the computer. Does that mean the same for Switch by any chance? Or no? Because if I don't have to buy it for my Switch, I don't want to. Like, I even got the game late. The game is just too good. Yeah, I'm very behind on the game too. Don't worry. This is on Steam. So I didn't actually buy it. My friend surprised me with it. So, because I, I was talking to her and I was like, look, I want to play it. But at the same time, I'm worried I won't like it. So then she got me the game and she was like, try it, Nora, and just see and give it a chance. So I tried it and I'm in love with it. So I want to get the deluxe version. So I'll probably get the deluxe version on Steam. Oh, gotcha. Well, I'm planning to get it on my Switch still because my daughter, she really likes how this game looks. And um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Still get it on the Switch because she... Um, she wants to play it as well. So I think that's my plan. Y'all give me one second. I'm going to take a drink of this. Ramona, that's what everyone's been saying today. They've been saying that it's uh, really buggy on the Switch. I haven't had any issues besides me accidentally time traveling. <laughs> That's about it. I haven't had any issues. I'm not sure if it's because um, the PC has fixed the bugs already that could have happened. I don't know. But I haven't had any issues. But yeah, once it's fully released, it's free so you don't have to buy it. But it links to the cloud account you registered. I just can't wait um, to see what else they add to it. If you hold down the button, you should be able to dig in a straight line so you don't have to uh, fill in the holes you already dug. Hold down which button? The A button? Oh my gosh. I always say your name probably wrong, but Onar, Onair, you are incredible. <laughs> Thank you. I accidentally discovered that I could plant crops like at like multiple times earlier this morning. I was like, oh my gosh. So many hours <laughs> wasted of me doing it the lazy, like, or the long way. So then I was like, yep, just gonna spam all this. Oh my gosh, that is such a game changer. Thank you. I did discover earlier, yes, with the harvest scene. I was so excited about that. Olnair, glad I could help. Thank you so much, Olnair. You're the best. Well, that makes life so much easier. Why can't Animal Crossing do that? So many things that I really hope to see in Animal Crossing, uh, the next game. All right, going back in there to fix up my uh, exhaustion. That's so much better than spam eating fruit. We can bulk craft, no way. You, you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is that seriously a legit thing? Animal Crossing needs that. Seriously, so many things that Animal Crossing needs to take lessons from. I'm just shocked because this is early release and there's so much content already. Let's see. I am gonna go. So yeah, speaking of Animal Crossing, Ramona. So this game has been really inspiring me to do a fairy tale theme. Like something kind of like elegant Cinderella kind of vibe. So it's funny that you say that. That's why I'm very excited that I've been playing this game because I'm hoping that I can get some really nice, you know, fairy tale inspiration. If I don't feel inspired to do any of my fall themes right now, 
I want to do a fairy tale theme. I think that would be really fun. So, um, hopefully the inspo keeps flooding in because I've already been feeling it. That was like the main hope for this. Like, play this until I find some inspiration. I mean, I'm still going to play it even when I feel inspired on Animal Crossing because I'm addicted to it. But I was hoping that it could help me try something a little bit different than like, you know, another Japanese island, for example. Like, I love my Japanese cities, don't get me wrong, but I really want to do you know, different themes, you know, but it's hard to feel inspired when you're just like, okay, well, I'm not inspired right now. So what do I do? Um, oh my gosh, Kawabeiti. I hope I said your name right. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the stream. Yes, this game has been so fun. I am excited to figure out decorating and kind of different ways to, you know, manipulate the game too, if we can do that. Can we can we do some crazy stuff on uh, Disney Dreamlight? That is the question. So right now I'm just focusing on making money and progressing. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can press and hold the button. Daily Dreamlight duties. Okay, that is those little tasks kind of like what Animal Crossing has, right? Like, oh, do this and you get some points for it basically. You can also use your resources in your storage at any crafting table. Oh, how do you do that? Cooking is fun. You can throw random items in the pot and get a recipe. Sweet. I haven't really done much cooking. Well, I did do the um, Remy quest, but that's the only quest that I've done so far. Let me go back in there and redo my um, stuff. And we'll go back to filling this in. I, I've been loving it though. I mean, this game has been truly just super fun and relaxing. Then tomorrow, I'm gonna be trying out Dinkum. I haven't played that yet. Uh, so if you play Dinkum, please be there tomorrow and help me. Uh, I wanna say it'll be around either this time or early afternoon. And honestly, just depends on my daughter when she goes to bed. So I feel like if I stream on weekends, when I get the extra time, my normal stream schedule is Wednesdays and Fridays, but this week I could not make those days because um, life just got kind of chaotic this week. So I was, I'm behind on content already, but um, usually I stream on Wednesdays and Fridays. However, if I get extra time on the weekends, I will stream too. So just make sure your notifications are turned on. I will always let y'all know on a community post and in my Discord server if I'm gonna go live. Like I usually let y'all know like several hours before it. So um, in case y'all are wondering what my plan is, you know, for uh, content and stuff, you know, and my stream schedule in general. But tomorrow will be Dinkum. Monday I'll probably do Animal Crossing, uh, maybe a speed build. But um, if I get extra time though through the week to stream Disney uh, Dreamlight, you know, you know I'll do it. Oh, Jordan, thank you so much. Yeah, I think I have like 10 people, I think on YouTube that I have notifications on for. I know that Kato is one of them. Um, Lex Play. I know that that's another one. There's, there's several of them, but uh, feel honored thank you um let's see the animals will try to unalive you and decom though oh fun yeah i heard that i could literally get eaten by a crocodile apparently so i am curious to see how awful i will be at dinkum so yeah tomorrow i'm gonna try to see how i like it i did try to play it a little bit like you know create my character but my controller was drifting so bad. So it made playing it impossible. And the controls are really different. I was so confused on the controls. Um, so anyways, tomorrow you'll probably see me struggling with that. I do like this game though. It's so fun. I My daughter is turning six this year. And I'm going to be helping her with, you know, how to play it. But my daughter plays Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. So and she, if this is any help for you, uh, Pr uh, Priscilla, my daughter is really good at Stardew Valley. Like she's reading too. Like 
So I don't know if how advanced with reading your daughter is, but if your daughter is like okay at reading or starting to learn it, um, I think she'll do great or they will do great because my daughter does great with this. I think they'll do great with, uh, you know, the game. Especially if you, you know, help them. See, okay, yeah. So I think obviously help when you can, but like if that helps at all, like my daughter is really good at Stardew Valley, like understanding the mechanics. And I feel like this game is way easier than that. So when she starts playing it, I will gladly keep you updated on how she is handling it because um, she catches and learns really fast. And the thing about, you know, kids this generation now, they're quick learners with technology, like really smart. So, and I feel like this game is so easy to get the hang out, you know, of. So I say, go for it. Yes, of course. Are you on my Discord server by any chance? If you are, I always go on there when I'm not streaming and I can uh, keep y'all updated on there because I want, I want her to, you know, you can have multiple saves apparently on the game. So I'm going to let her play it and see how she does with it. And um, if she seems to get the hang of it, because she's the same age from what it looks like, uh, I'll keep you posted. But like I said, she does great on Stardew Valley. So I don't think she'll struggle really with this. I think if anything, the hardest part about getting started in the game is with all the dialogue. On my computer, it let me have uh, multiple saves. Unless that was it trying to overwrite mine. <laughs> but uh, I do have a modded console on my Switch. So I can technically make multiple uh, saves on my modded console. So on a regular console, you you can't obviously on Switch, but on my computer it gave me the option. But I don't know if that was because it was trying to override or not. If I can't, I'll just let her play on mine and see what she thinks of it. You know? Gotcha. Okay, so it was probably trying to override mine then. That makes sense. So I'll just let her play on mine then. We'll see how she likes it. I mean, I am planning to get it for the Switch. So, but I don't know when that's going to be. Her birthday is coming up. So I might get it for her birthday. And she can play it on her Switch and see how it goes. Hi, Brayden. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? Um, Ramona, in Animal Crossing, you should be able to dig a hole without it turning into water or an upper level thing. Like if you wanted to dig a hole for putting walls so the wall is lower or something. I agree with that. I really hope that... The next Animal Crossing game is more than what we imagined. I really do hope we see some improvements. Ellie, oh my gosh, hi. I have no idea about that Elle's. Cause like my daughter, it, like she has her own Nintendo account because I have my own Nintendo account. Um, so I have no idea. Cause like we don't share, we don't have a family account because of my modded switch. If I got banned for some reason, I didn't want it to, for some reason screw up, I don't know, my online account. So I have a separate online for just that switch and she has her own. So I have no idea. Maybe someone can test it. I think you should be able to have more than one island at least just without having to buy a new switch. Yeah, I agree with that. I was honestly really shocked about that because when I was playing Animal Crossing, um, I made a new profile thinking I would get a new island out of that. And then they're like, oh, you're moving on to the island. I was like, oh, well, so much for that. Now I just use the extra player homes like Oakville, for example, for like extra city core um, elements and stuff. Okay, so I have pretty much all of this filled up. Let me go in here. Claire! Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yay, we are playing. Guests just left. Where are we, Zero Trash Queen? Also, like the stream. Yes, please like the stream. It really does help me out. So I'm trying to farm 5,000 um, 
I don't know what the game currency is called. I almost called it bells. I'm trying to get like $5,000 so I can upgrade one of the stalls. And then I need to mine stuff for the, uh, the sea witch cave quest. So I'm trying to do multiple things at once. All right. So I guess I will try to uh, plant these. I'm really awful when it comes to planting things. There we go. Sometimes I can't get the multiple plant thing uh, to work right away. So bear with me. How do you make signs for Scrooge? Are you talking about just like the building thing? Cat caffeinated. Oh my gosh. Same. This game has been so fun. I I'm obsessed with it too. I was telling somebody earlier, if you like Animal Crossing, you'll like this game. I am so glad I gave it a chance. So glad. Star coins. Okay. Good to know. Except every quest you're eligible for, you'd be surprised how you rip through them just doing dailies. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Thank you. I took the tip that you told me, Claire, about keeping uh, a companion with me when I'm like, or I don't know if they're called companions or villagers, but uh, I'm keeping Mickey with me because Mickey has like the gardening uh, trait. So I'm trying to level Mickey up to 10. So I've been having Mickey with me. I still need to um, level up wizard boy over there. He's like level, I don't know, eight or nine. So yeah, I need to still level him up as well. Oh, if you make signs for him, the store will open up so you can progress with other... Okay, okay, so I did do that. I think I actually upgraded Scrooge's um, oh, shop there. to the second See option. Real soon. Okay, so that's good to know. I have carrots and tomatoes, lettuce, and sugarcane only, and wheat. Those are the only crops that I've unlocked so far. Is he level 10? I don't remember. How do you check your friendship? Is there a way? Oh, yep. Here it is. Yeah, I guess he is 10. So is he still good to keep around even at level 10? Like, is it worth keeping? Or, well, I need to swap him with uh, Wizard Boy over here. Oh, I probably should collect these. Yeah, I heard. Okay, I found out the hard way caffeinated that... Time travel is not an okay thing to do. And I experienced it. I will not be a dirty cheater. Well, hello. I think I need to level. Yeah, he needs to level up. So we're going to hang out. I could so does the time in the game go with the time in real life like Animal Crossing? From what I was looking at earlier, I think it does. Yes. Because like right now it's nighttime for me. And it's nighttime here. So... Makes sense, which is kind of cool. All right, let's fill all of this in. Here's the thing, you can't switch jobs with other characters. I accidentally gave one of the characters also a gardening trait. Can I change that at all or no? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't mean to do that. Now I did like, okay, let me go redo that. So I can't change it. Oh man, I accidentally spam pressed a button on accident while I was trying to figure out controls. And I can't remember who has it. I think Goofy has gardening too. And I was like so obsessed or upset with that. I was really sad. That's lame. I just hit the million coin mark and haven't made a single. I I need I need to get a million dollars. Okay, so note to self, just don't give another one a gardening. Is it good to have multiple with the gardening trait by any chance? Like, should I give multiple of them with it? Okay, so I did see the extra crop things on there. Um, and I was like, what the heck is going on? But then I realized that I needed to grab those or they disappear. Okay, so I will, I'll do multiples. I He has the digging perk. So every time I dig up something, he can give me extra items. So that's what he has. 
I actually really like that when I'm trying to build spots for my crops. Another game where you do things like this, Story of Seasons. I'm actually planning to get the new Story of Seasons game too. When it releases, you can count on that being on the channel. So excited. I actually never played Story of Seasons. I always wanted to, but I never, I don't know why, I just never did. So I'm very excited to actually try the new one that's coming out. Also in collection characters, you can find out what they want for the day and it pops their level quickly. Oh, good to know. Thank you, thank you. Yes, oh my gosh. The Story of Seasons game looks adorable. I tried to play Harvest Ella the other day, like the demo. I don't know, I can't, like, I'm gonna try to give it another chance, like finish the demo, but I couldn't really get into it. But like I said, I, I don't wanna judge it when I'm not done with the demo. So I'm gonna finish the demo, and if I end up liking it, I probably will also add that to the channel too. Because I love RPGs, so, and that has like RPG abilities in it, like kind of cool in a way. So I wanna give it a chance but I couldn't really get into it. But like I said, I'm not gonna judge it until I'm completely done with the um, with the demo. Why is it not planting? Oh, there it goes. The last half of my characters are miners. The very last one was a gardener because of pumpkins. I hear that the pumpkins sell for quite a bit. Look at the bottom right of the screen and press the button. It tells you above the shovel. It'll explain the point of having several villagers with the same trait. Thank you so very much for that tip. Y'all have been so helpful this stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, trying to make sure I can plant multiple. There we go. It's so hard for me to like get that timing right with the buttons. Uh, I'm still like trying to figure out the mechanics on here. So bear with me on this. I got Harvest Moon on the PS4 thinking it would be like Story of Seasons, but it's not really. I am very excited to see how Story of Seasons is gonna be. Very excited. And yes, I agree with that, Ramona. I tried to play Harvest Moon on my DS and I just couldn't get into it. But I'm not sure if it's the same, like, you know, gameplay mechanic like on PS4. That was the only time I ever played a Harvest Moon game was on my 3DS. Haven't touched it since, but Story of Seasons, looks so cute the last half of all my characters are Myers oh I already read that sorry Claire good to know though no problem Claire thank you so much with the planting look for the blue arrow when you're planting that means it's good for the zone what blue arrow where do I find the blue arrow Sean Y'all have been so helpful though, this stream. Like seriously, thank you. And thank you to Claire, my moderator on my chat for, you know, encouraging me to try this game because I have been loving it so much. Oh my gosh, the timing can be such a pain in the butt, but it's because I'm really trash and I'm still trying to learn it. There we go. After I plant all these, I'll water them. I wish it was raining like earlier today. It was raining and I didn't have to water any of my crops. I was like so excited about that, but it's not raining right now. You will notice when you're in the right area, but it's in the planting screen. Gotcha, thank you so much, Sean. Oh, so I'm wondering if I should go plant the tomatoes somewhere else. So is that what y'all are trying to say? Plant the tomatoes in a different location? Because right now I'm doing lettuce, um, carrots, in wheat. I think I accidentally planted some sugar cane without realizing it, but that's what I've been planting for the most part. Um, I'm, first of all, I am planting like, okay, so when I go over to plant, you have the option right here of the seeds to choose which one you want to plant. Right now I'm planting lettuce. I think the tomatoes are good on the beach. It's okay though. You still get the same amount of money. So can I plant the tomatoes here and be fine? Because if I could keep everything in one spot, that would be, you know, epic. I would ideally would like to keep everything in one spot. Okay, cool. I'll do that then. It just takes longer. That's okay. I'm okay with it taking a little longer. Because I need to go mine, you know, and get those gems still for the, uh, for Ursula. Cool deal. Y'all are the best. Thank you. Thank you. 
It's confusing because Story of Seasons was Harvest Moon. Yeah, I think that that is definitely very confusing. But there was some kind of copyright or company change. So one company got the rights to name uh, Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons, all the people who made Harvest Moon games. Yeah, so that's what I was seeing on Twitter, actually, that it was just a name change. I am very excited to try Story of Seasons out. I think it's going to be so fun. And hopefully we'll like it, you know. I'm definitely going to be streaming it. Alright, thank goodness for the plant multiple feature. <laughs> because can you imagine... Ah, my, my bottle like popped and freaked me out. Uh, can you imagine doing this one by one? That would have been so painful. Also, when you check the map, it'll show you if your crops need to be watered or harvested. Ooh, good to know. Thank you so much, Cole. Alright, let's fill all this in and then we'll water it. As you can see, I am very dedicated on making a lot of money. I need to get 5000 for that upgrade. Christian, oh my gosh. Hi, welcome to the stream. I got the 1.8 million. Is that what you were trying to say? Star coin achievement today. Pumpkins are amazing. Oh my gosh. So basically, when I unlock pumpkins, I'm a pumpkin farmer from now on. Is that what you're saying? I am very excited for the Lion King area. I love the Lion King so much. All right, let's try to plant multiple. There we go. You know, I think my negative is at nighttime. I, I cannot see what I'm doing. But trying to just do crops and do some quests. Yeah, like my main, I barely have done any of the story. My main focus right now is trying to make as much money so I can upgrade like, you know, the stalls and stuff and buildings. I feel like that would be smart to do right now. Because obviously it's showing that that is a smart move because I had no money to upgrade Goofy's stall in that gloomy forest area. So I need to like, you know, focus, I think, on getting some more money. Hopefully getting better crops, like y'all have been saying, will make that difference. 400 canola planted. How long did it take you to plant it? I did like a whole entire top area just of carrots when I first started playing. And I was like... This is a lot of carrots. And at the time, I didn't know the trick about going into the house. Because y'all just showed me that. So my character was like stress eating apples and everything. I was like, this is painful. Uh, if you're not already subscribed and like this content, you should consider hitting that subscribe button. Join our horrible gaming community. Els, yes, thank you so much. If you want to join my Discord server as well. I'm very active on it. I am one of those creators that actually uses their Discord server. I try to chat on it every single day. So if you want to get to know me better as a content creator or kind of just like, you know, hear my thoughts on games or, you know, my progress and just get to hang out. Um, you can also find codes that I use for Animal Crossing on there too. Oh, Steven, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Horrible Reviews is my uh, troublemaker. Steven. Um, such a good money maker. My plot sizes are 230 size. So the bigger the better is what you're trying to tell me. Love your channel. You've inspired me to pick up AC&H again. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I will be doing an Animal Crossing stream this upcoming week. So stay tuned for that. We'll also be doing an Animal Crossing speed build, most likely on Monday. The king has arrived. Y'all, don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. But the, really, the money is in canola and okras. Where do I get okras from, by any chance? Need to get things ready for Halloween on my island. On Disney Dreamlight or Animal Crossing? Because I think I'm going to be taking a very small like break, theme-wise, so I don't get burnt out on fall. And I think I'm going to do like a fairy tale theme. That's in the swamp. Gotcha. Oh, Animal Crossing. I don't think I'm going to start a Halloween island until October. I want to do a spooky theme for y'all. And I'm planning to do a maze island. 
so y'all can go like you know this whole entire island is going to be like a hay uh, maze so i'm going to be doing that for y'all too and i will be hosting that via dodo code on discord and if you beat it in a certain amount of time you'll get a prize more to know and to find out later but I still need to start that. I'm hoping to start it this week. So with that being said, if I'm a little bit delayed on more fall content, that's why. Oh, Ramona, thank you so much for joining Discord. I hope you enjoy our little community. It's a pretty laid back server. So hopefully um, you enjoy it. But yeah, I just think, I think I'm gonna try a fairy tale island on Animal Crossing next. Like, I'll do a speed build of it. And I'll let y'all know what I think about it in that speed build. I think that's how I'll know if I'll keep it. So, I'm gonna try like a very elegant um, fairy tale theme that uses some natural elements too. So, that's on my to do list to try. I've been really wanting to terraform, but like the idea of like committing to a whole entire island with terraform, it's like, do I really want to do that? So I think if I did like natural with some, you know, castle items, I feel like that would be a little bit easier on me. Oh my gosh, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a great day. I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I'm gonna call you, uh, hopefully this works, Soda <laughs> or Soto. I, 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 I saw the Soda. Soda. I read the name wrong. I, I am bad. Okay, li my name is Horrible Gaming, okay? Keep your standards low. Know that every time you come onto my live stream, there is a 99% chance I will say your name wrong. <laughs> Usually that's how it goes. Once you get pumpkins, I hear the pumpkin puffs is where you need to invest in making soda. I haven't terraformed much at all. I'm really blocked for inspiration. I have started putting out Halloween decorations though. Dayana, is that how I say it? I'm awful with names. Just know that I called you Soda. You'll never have to uh, let me live that down now. I think we're almost done planting everything. But yeah, I, I think that's my plan on Monday because like this game, I, honestly, here's the deal. Uh, Dayana, I think I'm going to call you Soda from now on. And that will be our thing. <laughs> because I called you that. Unless you don't want me to. But just know that in my mind, I'm saying Soda. Um, Alright, we need to go fix We need to go fix that health and that, um, you know, exhaustion. But yeah, I think Monday we're going to test out the um, elegant fairy tale kind of vibe. See if that even speaks to me because I might go into it and be like, oh, yeah, I don't like this. I am just, what I'm doing on Animal Crossing right now is like theme testing to see what speaks to me first. And I'm tackling like, you know, speed builds too, like requests that y'all are struggling with. And I feel like, you know, that's not a bad thing because I can't always take build requests and help, you know, in general like that because I'm a busy gal. So I figured if I have no idea what I'm doing, it feels like the a right opportunity, you know, to do some of those. So that's what I've been doing for like the last couple of days. Cole, yes, play while I'm playing and help me with any tips. <laughs> Merlin, he's just like chilling over here, taking all my, uh, you know, all the stats and stuff that I'm doing right now. Like I'm trying to level him up. Okay, am I one more tomato and we can start watering? Yeah, he's just chilling. Mickey, oh my gosh, horrible reviews. The way Mickey walks in this game, and he also kind of looks dead inside. <laughs> it's hilarious. He's like, it's so funny. If I can find him after I water these, I have to show you. So funny. Sean, get some rest. Thank you so much for all the tips. Oh, there he is. He, he just looks, well, right now he's all happy, but like, he just, the way he looks, I don't know how to explain it. That's, he just looks like he's in pain. 
And I always, I always laugh every time I see him. Doesn't he look like he's in pain? <laughs> he's just, he just sits there just like that, especially when he's inside my horrible house. He does, he looks traumatized. The Forgotten really, <laughs> the Forgotten really traumatized him. The best part is when he started doing that face inside my awful house that's like literally falling apart. He is sad about Minnie. Do I get Minnie on this game? There is talking in this game, yes, but it's not like every sentence either, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. Oh, <laughs> Donald Duck. What did they do to Donald Duck? I, okay, so you are the other, there's only like three people telling me that Donald Duck looks traumatized and he's a pain in the butt. And I'm like, how? All right, we gotta get him mini. Oh gosh. <laughs> what did they do to Donald Duck? Poor guy. He has temper tantrums. Honestly, the reason why I'm like kind of curious to see what they did is because in Kingdom Hearts, when I was watching uh, Steven play, I just, I remember like hearing him be like, are you kidding me, Donald? Why? Because every time he needed to be healed, Donald did it not the right thing or he did it too late and it would waste the... <laughs> so I'm like, is Donald this bad on Disney uh, Dreamlight? I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see uh, how bad he is. Donald Duck is a nightmare. The first time he was in one of his fits, I actually got scared because it caught me off guard. Oh, he falls a lot too. He waits until you die to use the Exler. I remember like when I was watching Steven play, cause I, we're huge Kingdom Hearts fans. And I was like, I, was, I didn't believe him that Donald Duck was that bad about healing and just, you know, working as a team. And then he was just like, seriously, why? I better not see Donald in the streets, boy. I have some words with him. <laughs> yeah, Donald, I guess they're not on good terms. The train noises are funny. Oh man. Um, oh, y'all, is the uh, game, like, can you hear the game music at all? Out of curiosity? Because I do have it on streamer mode, but the music is, like, very quiet and different. He just trips and freaks out. Oh, great. When do I, when do I unlock, um, Donald? Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure the music wasn't too loud, but it wasn't, like, annoying either. Perfect, because the music's really low. Oh, I got a while. Well, you know what? We'll just focus on, we'll focus on getting, uh, you know, money and hopefully we can find some stuff to mine. I'm trying to take the game slow, you know? Like, I want to enjoy it. And it has been so refreshing. Oh no, Claire, that makes me so sad. Okay, so I have a long ways to go until I see Donald. I know, it's so cute how he's just like, you know, he's not even doing anything. He's just like standing there for moral support. He's just like, I'm just here while you bust your butt. But I'm curious to see who else they add into the game, honestly. But uh, yeah, I am, I'm enjoying the game so much. I mean, I, I, it really surprised me. I think that is the best way I can explain Disney Dreamlight. It surprised me. I'm very picky when it comes to games. Steven can vouch for that. It took, it was like pulling teeth to get me to play Skyrim for like the longest time. Oh, in walking, the Walking Dead um, Telltale series too. And then now Skyrim is like one of my ultimate favorite games. Like, of, like I love Skyrim. I could spend all day playing Skyrim. I love it so much. And um, so I felt this way with Disney Dreamlight. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to play it, but uh, I wasn't sure. And then Claire surprised me 
with Disney Dreamlight. And now I'm like, okay, I'm obsessed with this. It's just so cute. It is so cute. Uh, yeah, the stuff goes really fast in this game. Very different. Uh, when you harvest your crops, make sure you have your buddy. That's when you get bonus crops. I will make sure he won't leave. I know he, he'll stay with me, right? As long as I don't tell him to go. If I remember correctly. Claire, you're seriously the best. And I love you forever. Now I want to get the... Uh, the extra features that um, I didn't get because I'm like obsessed with it. Uh, <laughs> stop the horrible reviews. That's Steven, by the way. Uh, I don't like Fortnite, <laughs> but I couldn't. That is a game that I can't get into. But uh, I, I don't know. May I? I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a chance eventually. I don't know. No, Steven says I can't play it. <laughs> I do want to give Splatoon a chance. So many of y'all have been telling me to play Splatoon. But the thing is, I haven't played any of the other games. So I was like, is that going to like mess up the experience that I'll have? But um, yeah, I think I want to give Splatoon a chance too. So y'all let me know if you want to see that on the channel. Because isn't it multiplayer? Like I could play with y'all. So if that's the case, how fun. There's a creative mode in Fortnite? What does it do exactly? Is it like Animal Crossing in a way? Chibi Chula, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for your sub. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a fabulous day or night. Have you streamed Minecraft? I need help in learning. Not yet, I do own it, but here's the weird thing. So I bought it on Steven's computer and then when I try to re-download it on my computer, it's pretending as if I never even bought it. it. Makes no sense. And I'm trying to figure out how to get it back. And it looks like if I can't get it onto my computer, I'm gonna have to re-buy it. I do have it on my Switch, but I'm just saying PC version totally is better because of the mods. So I wanna have it on my PC for that reason because I wanna make a city. But, um, so I'm still trying to figure out how to hack to get that to, uh, be solved. I also, apparently we own The Sims. I didn't realize Steven had gotten The Sims 4. I don't know if we have any expansions. But I want to get the expansions. But if y'all are interested in The Sims on my channel as well, I'm more than happy to play it. Just know that I am kind of a sucker for Sims 3. <laughs> like, I... I think, I don't know, something about The Sims 3, I just like a lot of the features more, but I am open to trying The Sims 4 out too. So that is something I would be interested in, you know, adding to the channel if y'all want to see it. I will, I, I'm interested now. I didn't realize that Fortnite had a creative mode. I'll need to, um, I'll need to look into it. <laughs> He's like, no, you're not going to look into it. I know. I Okay, Sean, I know that I can pick up multiple. I keep getting distracted. So bear with me. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. If you see me not doing that, please remind me again. Because I get very distracted. Um, all right, there we go. Looks like I was too far away from that. No, thank you. You totally reminded me. Because I get so distracted uh, between the chat and doing this. So if you see me, I obviously I can't really do it here, but if you see me not doing it, please remind me again. <laughs> Cause I will totally space out on that. The Sims 4 will be free for one day on the 18th. So we do have the base game. Is that with the, is that just base game? Is that just the base game that'll be free or is that DLCs? <laughs> I doubt it would be the DLCs. Cause I do own the base game, but I do want to, um, I do want to add it to the channel. I just don't really know how to play it. Because <laughs> the last Sims game that I played was Sims 3. And I absolutely loved it. Oh my gosh, I spent so much time on The Sims 3. So uh, you would have to help and guide me. But you see, I kind of troll on The Sims. I make very <laughs> random scenarios and storylines with my characters. So you would have to bear with my uh, craziness. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, it's just base game. I figured the DLC wouldn't be free. 
But yeah, I I definitely want to get some DLCs if I like it. Oh yeah, for sure, because they want the money. Absolutely. It's a free kit right now you can get though. I know his little dancey dance is so cute. Like look, look how cute he is. I thought I saw Mickey somewhere. I think Mickey finally left. I I'll need to I'll look into it, y'all. I straight up installed the tombstone mods in fast forward sims. I, okay, so like, funny story, like, on The Sims 2, The Sims 2 was actually my first game. Oh, no, 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 every time I need to get one of these and spam it, I'm too slow, are you kidding me? It, it was trying to get me to plant something when I was trying to get the extra crop. So I totally missed out on it. Geez, $600 for all the expansions? How many expansions did they make? But yeah, I just, I don't know. I want to play it, but it's like, my bank account also is like, after seeing that it's $600, I won't be able to obviously get all that at once. But I, I do miss playing it. But what I was trying to say is my very first game was Sims 2. And I housed like a bunch of the uh, Sims and I accidentally caught all of them on fire and I ended up making them into like a giant graveyard to make like this haunted house. Then I would trap people who would visit to add to my tombstone collection. I did that at like 10. I was a very disturbed child, obviously. Anyways, that's the kind of stuff that I would do on the set. I was so proud of that haunted house. Now that I look at it, back at it, I'm like, man, okay. But yeah, I still, I still do want to try The Sims 4. I mean, we do have base game. We'll just have to see. You know who my favorite content creator is for The Sims? Call me Kevin. Oh my gosh. If you don't follow Call Me Kevin, you need to go follow. He does so much Sims content. It is so disturbed. I I laugh so hard. I don't even play The Sims 4, but I want to. But just watching him play it in these scenarios that he makes, I, I almost TT myself from laughing so hard. Yes, call me Kevin. Oh my gosh, Jim Peckins. <laughs> the funny thing is, is we have an Uncle Jim and he looks just like Jim Peckins. Like exactly like it. And we were just like, what? Oh my gosh, call me Kevin. Oh, love him. Anyways, if anyone's gonna get me to play The Sims 4, it's gonna be Call Me Kevin because of his scenarios. So, anyways, do a collab. I would on honestly, if Call Me Kevin collabed with me, I think I would throw up. Literally, I would probably throw up. Be like, what? I would. Spam his DMs and be like, collab with Nora on Horrible Gaming on The Sims. Oh, I would freak out. I would freak out. <laughs> but yeah, I love Call Me Kevin. So, uh, ever since, and I also, there was another uh, channel that I really love, and he's the reason why I bought Planet Zoo. Let's, is it Let's Game It Out? Yeah. Let's Game It Out does so many funny scenarios on planet zoo and um anyways so he's the reason why i bought planet zoo because i also really loved zoo tycoon growing up like i was obsessed with it and i really wanted to play zoo tycoon but obviously a better version because you know it's been several years so i watched him play uh planet zoo i was like look i'm i'm getting this game because i want to build pretty stuff but this dude, he tortures the guests, and it, it's just, it's it's hilarious. I, I love his channel too, so let's game it out. If you want to go check out their channels, they're like 10 times better, bigger than me. No, but you can go onto my favorite channels at the bottom of my YouTube channel, and I have them on there linked as my favorite channels, along with also my favorite uh, Animal Crossing content creators too. But yeah, let's game it out and call me Kevin. I I love their stuff. They they are everything I wish I could be if I was a funny person. But every time I try to be funny, it just becomes super cringy. 
<laughs> so I avoid uh, being funny for that reason. I don't feel I don't feel like being you know that way. So uh, yeah. So there's that. But anyway, so since I am not a very funny person, I enjoy their content so freaking much. You just gotta do what I do, man. Why? You gotta try to be funny, but then whenever nine out of your ten jokes don't laugh, eventually the tenth will work. Yeah, I'd rather not do that. <laughs> Is my inventory... Okay, I need to go store this. Oh, I doubt that. No, 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 no. I can be a very cringy person. She's like a wet blanket, you know? I'm not funny. Soaking, soggy, wet blanket. That's disgusting. Why would you describe I mean, me that uh, bad? Imagine, imagine you get in your bed at night and it's just sopping wet. That's normal. Why? That is disgusting. <laughs> That's so mean. Go ahead and sell that lettuce and sugar cane. I am on my way, Sean. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for giving me something to watch while I work on crocheting this cardigan for my eight-year-old. Oh my gosh, I wanted to learn how to crochet. My mom knows how to do it. She tried to teach me when I was like eight or seven, but I was like, no, mom, I don't want to learn how to do that. It's so lame. And now that I have a kid, I'm like, man, I wish I would have learned how to crochet. Something I truly regret. A Sims 4 streamer I follow recently got to do a live stream where she showed Rick uh, Astley the singer how she plays sims because she created a sim character after him that's epic see you know what i used to do when i started playing the sims in middle school i used to take my crush and, <laughs> and that's crazy now that i think about it i would make a family with the guy i had a, yeah no 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 with the, here's what i would do on the sims as a middle school girl okay this is how us middle school girls are we are we're weird okay and so then I would I would create my crush on The Sims. I would make him marry me and I would like be like, oh my gosh, like we're getting married. Even though I'd never talked to the guy at all in person, but I was like, little do you know we're married on The Sims. So that that that's kind of a fun fact about me. I that's never psychotic. I never made you on The Sims. Good. <laughs> I was like 10. Well, we didn't know each other when you were No, kids. I'm saying with the crush. I didn't know any better. <laughs> I know, I know it is creepy. That's how, I, and I'm the same, the same child me made a haunted house out of Sims I was purposely starving to make into a haunted house. Like you are me and I am you. I would do stuff like that. You see, I told, it's like if you, if you don't admit that you did some weird thing like that, playing the Sims as a, as a, you know, a young little girl, or a little boy or a little non-binary. You know that people do that and you probably did it too, cause I did it. <laughs> okay, no, 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 whenever I was a kid, I touched grass. So I would go outside and I was a very lonely child, not gonna not gonna lie. I was a cringy little fat, almost, I was like a weed, but- Is this gonna, is this gonna be, is this a legit thing you're telling yes, me? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. okay. Uh, I was like a like a weeb that lived in his mother's basement, but I didn't watch anime, okay? I was like that when I was a kid, and so I made little mud friends. What you are what mud friends? <laughs> <laughs> what are mud friends? They are exactly what they sound what? like. What? <laughs> they were friends okay, I made so out of mud. So why are you laughing at me for being because a weirdo? I didn't hurt... I, 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 I didn't hurt nobody. Okay, no, 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 no. I, not that I didn't hurt anybody. What I did was you okay, made a little psychotic, but... It had nothing to do with living. Gino. I know, I know. That's when I, that's when I was I when he first started. I touched Ooh, grass. Yeah, sexy bot. Stop. Oh my gosh, sixty sixty nine mega dot com. Stop. No, but now the tables turn. That's what I'm saying. In the first sentence. The, I touched grass. Congratulations. I'll take my bow. Okay, but you see how he makes fun of me for being a middle school little girl who was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna like, you know, have a family on The Sims. It's gonna be so cute. And he's like, I made mud buddies. Mud friends. Mud friends. No, 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 mud buddies. I, I love that. What would you do with said mud buddies? I just, I, okay. Would you talk to them? Yes. A little. Okay, so like, they were like little, little globs of mud and I'd make like little happy faces on them and stuff and I'd put like twigs and, and leaves in their in their head to have <laughs> it's not <laughs> they were my friends I just imagine I feel 
ball looking like manure. No, it was it was like they were like little pancakes with mud. And then my dad would walk by and he'd be so disappointed. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is epic. And yes, no, we make it fun of each other so much. So people. Okay, see, y'all are in here in the chat making fun of me, but y'all over here making mud buddies and soap people. Some people Emma says, you know, I also created a person with my crush name on The Sims when I was younger. See, it's a, it was a normal. Y'all are creepy. I'm no, not... it is a normal phase. And when... it's normal to have mud buddies. Mud buddies and fake relationships. That is the main topic of horrible gaming. That's what you need to rename this whole thing to. <laughs> mud buddies and fake relationships. At least I didn't like try and force mine into an unwanted marriage. <laughs> Oh my, it wasn't unwanted marriage. He just had no idea he about, didn't know it. about it. Exactly, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. He still don't know till this day. I got in so much trouble for it. I need to draw this now, Mud Buddies. Please draw a Mud Buddy for Steven. Please, I'll be his new Discord picture. Make, make a Mud Buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is it every time we do late night streams like this, we get chaotic? Every time. The, uh, the bot is back. We got it though. Oh my gosh, my face hurts from just the, the word mud buddy. At least he's following my channel. I mean, thank you for the support. Have a horrible day. Oh my gosh. My password still has my middle school crush football number. Honestly, like middle school for me, was a very interesting time of my life, okay? And I I grew up in the 90s, so y'all got to see all the nasty outfits that we thought were cool, like the big old, like, oh, I don't They're even- somehow coming back in style, though. Those pants, what are those pants called? The Jinko jeans. jeans. They're coming back in style. Okay. Yeah, I think they are. No, but I had like the girl version of that and I don't know what the name is, but they were made out of like soft yoga pants material. Oh, I wanted frosted tips so bad. Oh my gosh, my brother had frosted tips. He was like, he was like, he's like, yeah, I'm a cool kid. But anyways, uh, yeah. What are, what are those pants called? The ones, they're not like uh, those uh, Jinko jeans, but uh, oh, they were like the girl version of it. They're not bell bottoms, they were like, cloth flare leg yoga pant thingies but that was like my jam and then of course like you know lizzie mcguire was like my inspo or like inspiration i wanted to be lizzie mcguire so like my outfits consisted of trying to be lizzie mcguire so there was also that <laughs> I grew up in the 80s. Oh my gosh, I wish I could have experienced the 80s. My brothers, they got to grow up, uh, grow up in the 80s. My friends and I had a letter notebook and we'd pass back and forth and we would constantly write about my crush so bad. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, middle school times were so great. We used to gossip on notes too about like our crushes as well. I remember getting in a fight with one of my old friends because she liked the boy that I liked and I was like, you can't have him. And she was like, why can't I have him? Like, because he's taller than you. Like, I, I used to make up these random excuses and I convinced her she didn't need to have him. Are you serious? Yep. Oh my God. I actually ended up never dating him. That's so sad. He was one of those kids that played with those little tech decks. Seriously? Stop it, get out of here. Oh my gosh. You, we actually, that reminds me, we saw Tech Dex at Dollar Tree the other day and I was like, what, those are still a thing? Steven was like, those were always so dumb to me. Yeah, I always saw them and I was just like, that's for people who can't actually skateboard. Yeah, I, I am comfortably in that demographic, but I still wouldn't. Emma, yes it was. And I've obviously grown a lot since then. The only thing I am selfish with now is my ice cream and my donuts and my sweets. I will not share them with you. If you try to touch them, we will have a fight. <laughs> that, so when it comes to my food, it's the only thing I'm selfish with now. But yes, I was like, a, I was like, you know, 10. I didn't know. But thinking back at it now, I was like, man, they could have like, what if they got married? What if that was like, you know, they had a relationship from middle school all the way to high school. They would have like been high school sweethearts. That they could have birthed the child that cures cancer. Norm. I know, that could have been them. But I was like, no, he's too tall for you. How dare you? Oh. Everybody cancel her now. I cancel my middle school self. Mm, nope, you did it 
20 years ago, so you're 20, still, 20 years ago, shame on me. You're still culpable for it, so I want all y'all to cancel her right now. Get out of here. <laughs> Uh, yes, the tech decks. Oh my gosh. I always wanted one, but my mom was like, I'm not buying that. I did have a real skateboard though. I used to skateboard quite a bit. But if I, I guarantee you, if I tried to skateboard nowadays, I would go right on my face. I am, I'm too plump to skateboard nowadays. You know who can skateboard that actually surprised me? Hold on, I'm trying to catch up on the chat. I was born in 1980, exactly. The tea is hot. Okay, every time he comes into my late night streams, he starts to bully me. Then we talk about lots of tea, then y'all start to bully me. And it's like this constant uh, backlash of craziness. We also get on the topic sometimes of like, you know, food. And last, what, last stream someone brought up wet chocolate. Still have no idea what wet, wet chocolate. chocolate. Was that, was, was it that the topic of hot chocolate or something? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember, but that was also something. I got on a skateboard two times in my life and both times I ended up busting my butt, so I learned my lesson. I actually, I didn't know how to do any of the cool tricks when it came to skateboarding, but I did enjoy going to the skate park, watching people do things I know I couldn't do, but it was still fun to go uh, and do things that, you know, besides like doing, you know, little tricks and stuff, uh, I could skateboard normally. My dad can skateboard. Ew. Ew. Your dad does not give me skateboard vibes. Why ew? I'm just imagine your dad. Why you? Imagine your dad looking like MCR, skateboarding. That's what you. What no? That's what I imagined. I was like you. I was thinking more like Tony Hawk. Okay, that's better. That's better. But still, why you? Cause like your dad's not a skateboarder. He's a dad. Okay, so is Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's your dad. I mean, yeah, and I didn't expect you though. That's just weird. <laughs> With the eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. Followers follow their king. Y'all stop encouraging him. <laughs> Every time he comes onto the stream, y'all encourage him to bully me. This is just all part of the plan, people. Y'all cancel her over what she did in middle school and this channel will be mine once again. <laughs> He's not gonna be safe at home tonight. <laughs> Honestly, if you ever wondered where the name Horrible Gaming came from, it was actually Stevens. Uh, so the summary of the story is I stole the channel from him. Not intentionally, okay? Like, he was streaming. I don't even know what you were playing. But uh, one, one, this was like in 2020. And I was like, you know what? I made my first Animal Crossing Island. I actually did a YouTube video on it if you want to go see it. So I streamed that island and that's where my animal crossing content started i and then i i just had so much fun with the experience i actually have a more in-depth uh story of this on my instagram too it's like pinned it's like a picture of me um if you want to go read it like a more you know so it's not as summarized like this but um and then i started streaming more and at the time we shared a computer like we i didn't get the laptop i don't think until last year huh so we used to share a computer. So um, yeah, I ended up stealing the channel from him. <laughs> so now he uh, he bullies me because of that. Anyways, I kept the name Horrible Gaming because our content originally was playing games we were awful at. Like, you know, if we uh, were crappy at the game, Horrible Gaming. Or, you know, trying games that our viewers would recommend that we've never played. So that's kind of like where the name came from. And I'm wanting to bring that content back onto the channel. I just, there's nothing out right now that's worth playing besides obviously the games that we know that are coming out. But, um, but yeah, so that's kind of like a backstory. I'm doing bedtime over here and I come back 15 minutes later and he's still flipping on you. Thank you, Claire. Every time it's, it's because you're leaving. Every time you leave, he knows that you're not here to moderate. So he's like, what can I do? I just thought that this stream could use a little bit of sassiness. <laughs> Sassy Stefan, that's what we call him. What, where did that name even come from? Like what, how, what story gave you that nickname? Oh, there was a dude named Stefan. No, I remember where it came from. We, you did that voiceover for me when I had COVID. And because oh, yeah. I've, I've had people literally um, complain at me being like, 
why did you do this so fast in a speed build? Or why didn't you finish this island? And Steven was like, all right, I'm going to tell you how this is going to be. You can either like it or leave. And he said something like that in the video. And I was like, I'm not putting that in my video. He's like, this is my video. I'm doing the voiceover. And I was just like, okay. So then we called him Sass Sassy Stefan. I was like, I didn't know you had that much sass in you, boy. I suffer, I suffer no fools. So anyways, yeah, that's where the name came from. All right, so let's see the face that goes with the voice. I mean, he has popped in on the stream, so you wanna, you wanna, don't sneak over casually with your hand. Hi guys, this is me. <laughs> I'm just a disembodied hand. Bye guys. Are you gonna come over? No. He said he doesn't wanna come over on the camera, but he has joined in on other streams before. If you go into my last dream address stream, he's on the camera in that one. Yes, yes. Honestly, as a content creator, you'd be shocked on how crazy people can be. Hold on, I need to fix my webcam. All right, there we go. It was getting like blurry and having to adjust. Sorry, I had to cough. Didn't want y'all to have to hear that. But um, yes. But Nora, he hasn't got his makeup on or hair or hair done. Okay, so. I asked him if he would let me do his hair and uh, makeup one of these days, and he still won't let me. Will you ever let me do your hair and makeup? Yeah, you want to do my hair? Do my hair. Well, you don't have any hair right now. He just shaved his head. Um, head. All right, getting this. Let me get something to drink. Hold on one second. <clears throat> I wrote a letter to my crush when I was in middle school. It was so cringy. Everything in middle school was cringy, Emma, for us, everything. I understand if you don't want to be with me, but know that I will always like you. My mom found that letter. That sounds exactly like something I would have wrote. Imagine what, okay, coming from a guy's perspective, how would you act if you got a girl in middle school writing that? It depends. I mean, it depends on the girl. Okay, what if it was like, the cutest girl in the class. Who yeah, absolutely, that? I'd be like, hell oh, yeah, let's, let, let's do this thing. <laughs> what if it was a girl that wasn't your type? Absolutely <laughs> not. Yeah, but yeah, I'd if, probably tell my friends. But what if she was cute? Then I would be like, okay, let's do this thing. Guys yeah, are weird. You gotta think <laughs> about a, a, a boy going through puberty. It doesn't matter if you're a good personality or anything like that, he doesn't care. But I, in middle honestly, school? Yeah, yeah, in middle school. That's whenever a boy starts going through puberty. That, that was me, at least. I was just like, honestly, I was so lonely. I was just like, another human being wishes to talk to me. Mud buddies, guess what? Mud buddies. I'm sorry, but I'm never going to let you live that down about the mud buddies. That they were is, my best friends. That is epic. That is so great. I mean, he would also have a middle school brain, so it would absolutely be either really good or really bad. Priscilla, she didn't say much, but I remember she gave me the look. What was the look? Like, was it a disappointed look? That's the question. Pretty much teenage boys are like, oh wow, it breathes, love me. Yes. In middle school, I was my main focus was looking as amazing as Hillary Duff did and Lizzie McGuire, and I also really wanted to be Hannah Montana. Like, I remember getting my hair done to look like Hannah Montana. And then the stylist didn't do my hair like Hannah Montana and I cried in the salon. Like, I was crying so hard. I was like, my hair doesn't look like Hannah Montana. And my mom was like, baby, it's fine. I was like, no. And so I was like devastated. And to this day, I still did not get my Hannah Montana hair. I am salty you about need that. You to do it now. <laughs> get Hannah I'm Mon saying like Hannah Montana circa 2014 when she had those weird little bun things that- I'm not gonna shave my hair. Do it. No, 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 that's not Hannah Montana. The Hannah Montana phase is a nostalgic era. Ooh, grab the squirrel. I can't. You can't eat the squirrel? Stop it. Um, let me grab these sticks real quick before I forget. Yes, Hannah Montana, I wanted to be her. Wanted to have the hair, the outfits and everything. Oh yes, thank you, uh, Cole. I almost called you Sean because you and Sean have been so helpful through this whole stream. I had a Party City Hannah Montana wig. I am jealous. I wanted a Hannah Montana wig so bad, but my mom's like, why would I buy you a wig? And I was like, mom, 
a need to have the Hannah Montana wig. So she ended up buying me because she didn't want to give me the Hannah Montana wig. Y'all, she ended up going to like the dollar store and you know like the heavy metal wigs that the kids get for Halloween mm -hmm. with like the spiky bangs up? That's what she got me. And she's like, I'll trim off the spiky hair part. That was my Hannah Montana wig for Halloween. I was like 12 and I was like, it's not Hannah Montana. <laughs> So, so, mom, if you come onto the stream, you ruined my Hannah Montana fantasy. Everybody, cancel her mother. Cancel my mom. I, oh my gosh, I was, I'm still upset about that. I just wanted the Hannah Montana wig so bad. I'm now, I need to get the Hannah Montana wig 20 years later and be like, mom, I did it. I got the wig and you didn't get me. I wanted to look like Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. Why? Yeah, it's a nice hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wanted that look. Poor Nora, I know. <laughs> One kid got stuck in his chair, people yelling and throwing things. I hid under the desk because it was so loud and chaotic, it was embarrassing. Oh, you're cr I, I, I noticed your message above that. I never had any cringy crushes in class. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to go back up to the chat. But there was this one time in class, the other students drove the teacher crazy that she started crying, that's awful. They, the did you just wrote this cringy love letter look? What did you know about love? My mom said that it sounds like something my mom would say too. That's what my brother would say. Honestly, when I got my first boyfriend and I told my mom about it, she's like, my dad, actually my dad said something before. She's like, no, you don't. I was like, yeah, I do. And he's like, no, you don't. He's like, where's this boy at? And my dad terrified him because my dad, he's a big old man and he goes hunting. So my dad grabbed his rifle and the guy lived like four streets down. And no, this is true. You can ask my dad about it. Are we gonna incriminate your father here? No, no, no. My no, my dad. He's just like he didn't do anything bad. He was like, "What you do?" Let's consult no. our legal team before you continue <laughs> no, the story. No, no, He was like, "What you got interested in, my daughter, boy?" And the guy that I had a crush on was a hunter. He's like, "Oh, that's a nice gun." And then they <laughs> they actually ended up liking each other. But that guy ended up not being a good boyfriend. I think I actually broke up with him. Or you, you think you did, Lynn? No, 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 no. Are you sure I, you're not still dating him? Is that what you is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying like I don't know if he broke up with me or if I broke up with him. Can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Can't wait to meet him. I have a secret boyfriend. He actually lives in this house. His name's Pickle. Where is Pickle? <laughs> As you can see, we have we we have a very interesting relationship. He drives me nuts. So bad. Pickle. No, you. I mean, pickle. Pickle's relationship with me is Poops good. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. This is my dog, Pickle. This is my boyfriend. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. He comes onto stream ever so often. <laughs> he looks. Did you wake him up from a nap? Mm -hmm. He looks so confused. <laughs> but yeah, this is my boyfriend. All right, lay down. So if you you got competition, you want to hang out with me when I stream? I can feel the love through the stream. Honestly, like. We have been married for how many years? Seven. Seven, but we've been together for 10. Eight or nine. No, nine. nine Are you sure it was nine? nine so yeah, I mean, at some point you're just like, I don't know, he's my best friend, but he drives me nuts. He really annoys me. Oh, and by the way, when I started saying, oh my gosh, I love Disney Dreamlight, he's like, I told you you would like the game. Because I told him, I was like, no, I won't like the game. And so now that's another thing he's going to hold over my head for the rest of my, you know, life. Like he usually does. I felt bad for my teacher. She was trying so hard, but the students were really difficult. The day that happened, one student kept bringing it up. He never let anyone live it down. That's awful. That is so awful. I don't really have any chaotic school stories with like teachers. All of my teachers were like really old and they didn't want to be there. So they kind of just like ignored us. I have multiple. I've been married with my husband 10 years and married six of them coming up next Saturday. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Our anniversary is on October 9th. So uh, I don't know what we're doing for our anniversary. I think we're gonna go Funko hunting. I told them if I wanted to do anything next month, I want to go looking for things for like the stream setup and I want to get new Funkos. So I think we're going to go Funko hunting. Chaotic class stories. Y'all, I'm jealous about that because I never, I never got any chaotic class stories. My, like I said, my classroom was boring growing up. Nothing exciting happened. I have I'll be so married. many of them and none of them are PG. 
well then don't tell him i'll be married 10 years next year it doesn't even feel like it yeah honestly when he told me oh how many years again is this seven years seven married. years of being married it feels like yesterday i was like excuse me i was like has it really been that long and then 10 years of being together or nine years of being together here take your dog but um hi everybody <laughs> he's so tired but um yeah it just blows me away how fast time is going i only have let's see we have one two three four five six seven funkos we just um started collecting and it's are you counting the bad batch as one yeah or they should i count them as individuals yeah i count them as individuals so Which, how many in total do we have two four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve funkos so I'm hoping I'm hoping next month to find some more Pokemon ones. Like my goal is to start like sharing my setup with y'all, but right now it's kind of pitiful. I mean, like my house is like I don't know. My setup in general is like a boho, modern kind of theme, but it's still like wor a work in progress because I need to get um, some shelves and I need to get a bookshelf. So it's like kind of disappointing to share with y'all right now. So hopefully. I don't know. Hopefully once I can approve some stuff, I can start sharing it with y'all. I want to get a Sylveon Funko pretty bad. Sylveon and just like the Evolution line in general, that is my favorite. I'm a sucker for all the Evolutions. Um, all right. So how much money do I have? Oh, Y'all, I think we have enough to go unlock finally that, uh, where is it? Was it the beach one I needed to upgrade or was it the one in the spooky forest? Do we remember? Pretty sure. I think it was the spooky forest. Let's see. The swamp. Gotcha. All right. This is the one that we needed to upgrade. And then now I need to go find some uh, mining stuff. Yay, we did it. Is that a new, is that a new prop? What is Good that? Day to you. No, I don't want to talk to you. Bye-bye Waiting for Goofy to show up. I got it at Target and my husband got a 10 inch uh, Ryolu there too. I, I need to, I only have one Pokemon plushie and it was a Vulpix that my daughter took. So I wanna collect some more Pokemon plushies too. One more upgrade and then you'll have it. How many more times do I need to upgrade? I'm gonna buy these uh, seeds, cause I like to hoard them. How much to upgrade? Oops, no. Let's see, 10,000. So if I farm some more of the expensive crops, should I have enough for it? Let me go see if there's anything worth collecting over here. I want a Mew Funko so bad, Priscilla. I would, I, I would regret not buying it too. So I went to Walmart like the other day and they had like this Pokemon action figure like set. It was marked down from like $35 to I think 10 or 15. I wanted to get it so bad and I regret not getting it now because I wanted to um, display it on my setup. Okay, let's go look for some gems then. I'm gonna wander around here and see if we can find some. Gyarados has an awesome design. One of my, my top favorite like three Pokemon I would say is Eevee, um, Baneri, and Exadrill. I would say those are my top three. I also like Dar uh, Garchomp too, but, um, and Ponyta. I really do like Ponyta. So I guess, you know, there is more than three, but I, I would have to say those are my tops. The black rocks on the wall sometimes have hidden gems. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. I'll go back and find those. Is that one? Right here. Okay. new recipe unlocked i missed that what was that where is some more i'm just gonna go around looking and mining a bunch of stuff oh please excuse my dog in the background my cat is terrorizing him <laughs> oh my 
can you can you get the dog contained? My cat and dog have a really crazy relationship. My cat literally will go up to him. And keep in mind, my, my cat is like 10 pounds. He's only like two or three. So she'll go up to him and like purposely pick on him. What did she exactly do this time? Did she pop him? Uh, she'll go up there and sometimes like pop him in the face, but not like with claws. She just does it for a reaction and she'll chase him. And he gets so aggravated. So please ignore the fact that my dog was freaking out because my cat was terrorizing him again. But yeah, they, they fight like siblings. It's it's incredible. Okay, I will not sell them. Thank you, Cole. And yes, I like Gardevoir too. Uh, just so you know. I'm I don't know why my cat does it. And yes, my cat is very chaotic. Oh yeah, I forget that fishing is a thing in this game. Oh, that's good to know, Sean. Oh, how did I do that? How did I take a picture? What button did I press? I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, right there. Eh, just figured it out. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Um, if you fish in the gold bubbles, those are fish are good money. I always wonder what that meant. I was like, it has to mean something good is going on here. Because they're like, you know, they're really fancy bubbles. Let me go look for a little bit of um, a few more mines. We need to find... We need to find some gems. Irish lady, oh my gosh, that's such a good Pokemon too. I am so excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, y'all. You have no idea. If you are a huge Pokemon fan like I am, I'm planning to stream it. We're gonna do a whole stream Let's Play series. Like, I may probably be playing it for several hours, just so y'all know. So if you wanna, you know, hang out with me, I hear that you could have up to four people um playing with you so i was thinking like every hour we could rotate the four people and have like you know take turns and play the game together like how fun would that be so that is like on my to-do list once the game comes out and i'm also going to be i'm getting both versions so i'm gonna probably do violet for streams and then scarlet i will play on my spare time so like if we're switch friends we can play the game together off streams too the mines are on the rock walls. Thank you so much, Cole, for letting me know. I think I already got that one. I'm gonna go look around and see. I, I, I would play Pokemon Go, but people down here drive crazy and I don't feel like getting hit. So I don't play Pokemon Go for that reason. I am very excited for Pokemon. Oh man, did I actually go inside the house? Oops. Hi, Brecky. Welcome to the stream. All right, let's see. Did I already get all the mines up here? I'm trying to see. I guess there's none up here. Do those like respawn at all? I'm gonna go ahead and get these though while they're here. Where else can I find them? Maybe on the beach? I haven't really gone to the beach much. Ever since COVID, they've changed up the nest, so now you can just do it from your house. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Cole, that's good to know. Thank you so very much. Yeah, I need to get some more. So I'm going to be playing Dinkum tomorrow. So if you want to come check out Dinkum with me or help me out in general, we're going to be streaming Dinkum tomorrow. I would say probably around whatever time it is. Let's see, it's almost 11 p.m. I started streaming, I think, around 7.30 think maybe around 7 30 so i'm gonna try to stream probably again around 7 tomorrow just because it's easier for me to stream when my daughter goes to bed but during school weeks i usually stream in the afternoons or early mornings because she'll be at school so that's when i drop her off so i stream uh, always on wednesdays and sat or wednesdays and fridays so um, that is my normal stream schedule. But if I get extra time during the weekend, I like to um, get those type of streams in as well. Like technically this weekend is makeup streams because I couldn't make Wednesday and Friday just because life got so busy this week. So um, I'm wanting to stream to kind of the, uh, these next two days just to make up for that but if i get extra time through the week or this upcoming weekend i'll definitely stream 
No, it's not better. I don't I don't think it's better than Animal Crossing, but there is some there is some elements to the game that I feel like are better, you know? Animal Crossing is forever gonna be one of my favorite games. So you don't expect me to stop playing it because it ain't gonna happen. But I would say if you're feeling burnt out on Animal Crossing and you wanna have kind of a similar vibe that Animal Crossing has, and maybe you just need a mental break from Animal Crossing, maybe you've hit walls on it and you don't know what to do, uh, you know, decoration wise, this game has been such a peaceful break from Animal Crossing for me. It's probably gonna inspire my next uh, theme. I think I'm gonna try out a fairy tale vibed island and I'm gonna test it out, I think on Monday. So we'll do a speed build on Monday and I'll let y'all know if I like it or not because if I end up loving it, I think it'll be such a fun theme to do. And obviously, you know, Disney Dreamlight uh, Valley uh, inspired it. So we'll just see what happens done for yeah i'm a huge animal crossing fan you can count on me for probably being the last one to play it <laughs> removing the night thorns gives you coins too does it give you gems at all or no yeah i saw this game and was like oh my gosh i need it but i'm gonna be cheap and wait for it to be free i i love it i'm having so much fun with it i really am it's been a blast i don't know when it's gonna be free exactly but one of my friends and moderators on the channel, she got me the game, like surprised me with it. So I have been loving it. I'm definitely gonna get the um, deluxe add-ons too. It's been so fun. I think if anything, they're gonna charge for like DLC add-ons. I think the base game will be free, but I don't think the DLC stuff will be, if that makes any sense. I just feel like that's how they're gonna do it. It's usually how it goes. Marshy, I saw that you were on the channel. Hi. Yes, oh my gosh, Claire, she's one of my moderators. She has, she's incredible. I love her. She surprised me with it. Um, not yesterday, a couple of days ago. Cause like I was talking, I was like, I wanna play it, but I'm scared I won't like it. And then she's like, well, what would you do if I, I had a copy of it for you? And I was like, I would play it. <laughs> So she uh, got, gave it to me and I have been addicted to it since. I love it. Marshy, I hope you're having a wonderful night. How are you? But yeah, I, when is it free? Gems are only in mines. Slay Nora. I mean, no, I'm not really slaying right now on this game. I'm so confused. But hey. I got y'all covered for Animal Crossing content always. Like whether it's modded content or content anyone can recreate. Like I'm planning to do both modded Animal Crossing stuff and non-modded. So I will always have that content on my channel for as long as until the next game comes out. So like I said, I will probably be one of the last content creators playing Animal Crossing. So y'all better be playing it with me, okay? This game is totally up her alley. For the record, I got a copy via an open lottery and I already purchased mine. But I, here's the deal, Claire. I still love you so much for it because I'm excited about it. I love it. So thank you for thinking of me. Like, you're incredible, okay? Like, this game has been so fun. And yeah, you were right. You were definitely right that it's up my alley. I've been having so much fun with it. Even if you don't watch, post Animal Crossing, I watch all of your videos 24-7. That means a lot, but you can count on me for posting Animal Crossing every single week. Like, I won't stop posting it. I have no idea what I'm doing for my next theme yet, but that's why I'm thinking I might try out a fairy tale theme just because Disney Dreamlight has been really inspiring it. Do I keep my seashells? One of y'all said that it's good to keep them. Good boy. Yeah, Ramona, I feel like there's another game being worked on. There's just no reason why they should have, they stopped it. It was making so much money. And here's the deal. New Horizons was being worked on when we had New Leaf. And if that was being worked on before the Switch even came out. Like they didn't know what platform it was gonna be on, but they were still working on the game. So I'm wondering if a new console is being worked on. Or if it's not, then they're probably working on a new game. But I don't think we can expect seeing an actual new Animal Crossing game for another four years. At, at most. 
Um, there might be a spinoff. I could see a spinoff happening. But a legit game, I want to say I want to give it at least three, three to four years from now. I think we'll see another Animal Crossing, like legit main title game. I'm just, here's the deal though. Like, I know many of us would have been totally fine with DLCs, especially ones that were packed full of content, like with pocket camp items, um, things that the other games had that didn't make it into New Horizons. So I'm really shocked, really shocked that they didn't make more DLCs. Very shocked about that, because Nintendo loves making money, so it makes no sense. Marshy, I am having so much fun. Thank you. And yes, all the hearts for Claire. Leave some hearts in the chat for Claire for being such an incredible friend and getting me my new favorite game. Seriously. I have to sleep and I'm happy I got to catch you for like three minutes. Enjoy, Nora. Good night. No problem done for. Thank you so much for stopping by. Get some good sleep tonight. Well, hello. How long have we been streaming for? I did my have we, I've totally lost track of time. That has been one of my um, issues lately on this game. I get so invested. Huh? About three hours? I can try to go for another hour. Um, I would pay anything for new AC and H DLC. Me too. Like, I know for a fact so many people would pay for, like, and I'm not talking, like, you know, DLC, like, oh, here's a couple of items, leave me alone, you know? I'm talking, like, full-on DLCs, like, um, things that should have been in the game, like exterior edits, more items, new events that didn't make in. Like, there are so many festivals from New Leaf that did not make it into New Horizons. So it's like, they could have done so much with that. And also they could have added things like we're saying, seeing in Disney Dreamlight today. They could have added that kind of content into New Horizons and that would have been an incredible update. I'm just saying the way Happy Home Paradise works feels very similar to like how Disney Dreamlight feels. So I'm saying like if they would have done like a DLC to get like the um, perks that Happy Home Paradise has, the buildings, oh my gosh, the buildings. If you are a city core person like me on Animal Crossing, having the actual buildings as an option on our own island, your friends could visit your island and go into the stores and cafes you made and interact with your villagers. That would have been an insane second update to Happy Home Paradise. But no, Nintendo's just like, you know, here, leave you, here's like a couple of vegetables and fruits, leave us alone and that's all you get. Okay, so that was my rant about Animal Crossing needing more content. Expect another rant like that again to happen in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> it makes me happy to see you having fun. I know you've been having trouble with what to do next in Animal Crossing. I'm glad you're enjoying Dream Life Valley. Thank you so much, Els. Yeah, it's been a really fun break and it's honestly been helping me feel inspired for Animal Crossing again. So I'm very thankful for that as well. I hope that the fairy tale theme that I want to try out because of this game here, uh, I hope I end up liking it. Um, feed the squirrels. Oh, Hello. wait, I'm trying to see. Will they let me feed them? I'm trying to see them. One, They haven't come up to me yet. Um, there's a mine near behind your house. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, we'll go over there. I think a fairy tale theme would be really fun. And it would use like, I don't know, some natural aspects to it as well. So it'll be like a good mixture between some city like builds and uh, natural stuff. Ooh, we got a, I don't know if that's a regular garnet though. Yo, it's, the, it's a regular garnet. It's not a shiny one. Sweet. Yeah, I want to use the giant vines and I want to use the castle items. I think it'd be super fun to do a fairy tale theme. There's also a lot of great mods right now that people have been creating for modded consoles to do a fairy tale theme, but I want to do a legit island so y'all can have a dream address. But I'm going to be doing a modded fairy core theme too, so y'all can see me do that. Hopefully, once I feel inspired to tackle it. But I'm going to try out the fairy tale idea on Monday and we'll see how it goes it'll definitely be very inspired by a Disney princess that princess is to be determined because I have several but I was thinking for sure either Belle or Cinderella but I'll look at other options too but I feel like a Belle or Cinderella theme would be so fun 
Feed them next day. It's your pet. Gotcha. Thank you so much, Judy. Make sure to look in all the corners of the game. They hide stuff everywhere. Is there anything over... I No, this is just going up to the castle. Thank you so much for letting me know, because I had literally no idea. They could have made Happy Home Paradise where the villagers could stay a night or more on the vacation home you built for them. Yeah, that would be such a great feature. Priscilla says, adding a cafe building and a restaurant hospital to the main Animal Crossing island would have been amazing. And here's the deal. Like, if you're not doing a city core theme, let those buildings from Happy Home Paradise be, like, optional, you know? So, that would have been such a fun feature. But I just know how fun would it have been to, like, be able to customize, like, the sign and not have to worry about repeating designs like the Simple Panel has. You can make legit store logos and your friends can interact with the cafes and stores you make. I thought I did have a critter out. Let me see. I truly thought I had a critter. Let me, oh, I'm trying to go over there, but my thing was being glitchy. Uh, companions? I guess I do, I'll switch it. Maybe I accidentally left him. The possibilities are for sure endless. I just don't understand why they gave up so fast. Nora, I watch YouTube um, upcoming updates are gonna be harsh on modded content. I don't want you to get in trouble, dear. Could you double check the YouTube update? What's the YouTube update? I've only done like one modded video. So I only have done one so far because I wasn't sure what to expect. But all of my modded content will always, I mean, always be on my Instagram. So it's like, it's not the main focus of my channel, so I'm not worried about it. But yeah, let me know if there's a way you can send me that link. I can fact check it. But um, yeah, I've only done one modded video for that reason because my swamp video got removed last year. And I'm just like, I don't know. I just don't wanna do so much modded content and then it all gets removed. So that's why, like I always tell y'all, my main focus when it comes to Animal Crossing is doing content that y'all can confidently always be able to recreate. I don't know, just the joy of creating an island knowing that y'all can visit, I feel like that's so rewarding. And with like modded islands, I can't do that. I know it's fun to look at the modded stuff, but it's like, I don't know, creating an island that I know y'all can go visit, I just like that a lot. Oh, I'm exhausted. I was wondering what the was going on. All right, there we go. Is this one of those rare circles that y'all were telling me about? I suck at fishing. I'm trying to get it. All right, let's see. I, I lost it again. I know it has to be timed perfectly. Let me see. Um, let me catch up on chat real quick. It is pretty, but it's hard to share for sure. Like, I like taking pictures of it on Instagram. And, like, I share them on Twitter sometimes. But it's, like, that's all I can get from it. I want to be able to have, like, you know, friends visit my island. Dream addresses. So that's why, like, my main focus will always be islands, you know, that aren't modded. The mods are super fun, though, to create on your personal time. Which is what I'll always uh, do them for. Like, I think if anything, my modded content will just be for me. And I'll share, like, photos of it and that's it. Man, why do I suck at fishing? I, I did so good earlier with fishing. Why is this one so much harder? And I think I lost it now. All right, one, two, three. Did I get it? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I thought I got it. The fish right here does not like me. What am I doing wrong? sea turtles hide from you i didn't know that can you get a sea turtle as a pet or no come on fishy i sound like the animal crossing villagers that are just like let the peppy ones be like come on fishy we're gonna be best friends i'm gonna be famous come see me hit the button when the circle is green okay let's try it Please. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, that's so cool. The sea turtles can be pets. I love it. All right. Got one, 
two, three, four. Oh, I did it. We got it. Oh, finally. I, from what I'm seeing, you can unlock more companions. So that is awesome to hear because I want to get a fox. All critters are pets. I love it. I love it so much. I think that is such a cute feature. All right, let's see if we can get it on. What does the blue bubbles mean? What's the difference with that? If y'all want to let me know, because I noticed that blue or is also one that pops up. I think the companions are so adorable in this game. Like, super cute. I'm trying to make sure I'm caught up on the chat. I know I saw the chat moving up earlier. Um... Okay, I think, I think I am caught up on chat. Just wanted to make sure. I always do my best to keep up on the chat when I'm streaming. I try to get everyone's comments in. The blue is rare, but less rare than gold. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get this one then. Should I sell all the fish that I catch? I know you can cook with it, but I'm not really focused on the cooking stuff right now. I'm focused on making money. So would it be smart to um, sell all these? Oh, my inventory's full. We'll drop the flower. All right, drop the flower. Um, I need to go definitely store some stuff. So let's go store. The grind on this game is so fun. Hoard your fish until you get Moana? Okay. That means I have to make another chest. I'm getting so low on my chest storage right now. So what benefit do I get from Moana having it? Let me check the other. Oh, tons of fish. So is it worth keeping this then or no? Store, store. All of the lobsters? Okay. Uh, all right. So how do you stream through uh, Steam instead of OBS through Streamlabs? I am using OBS. I basically am capturing the window from Steam. It's so hard to explain, but I'm capturing the Steam window and I have all my settings normal, like as if I was streaming Animal Crossing, but that's what's different, if that makes any sense. Fishing benefits, yes. Okay, so I will, where's my other chest at? I'll go store this fish then. But I kinda wanna sell, I kinda wanna sell the fish cause I need money, like so bad. So, okay, let, should I save them or should I sell them? I'll let you, I'll let the chat decide. I was actually forced to cook today because she's good at fishing. It's just, I'm running out of storage. That is my main issue. Like I'm really uh, low on storage. Oh, why is that not stacking? Super weird. Oh, I need, I need to get a fishing buddy then. I say sell unless they're purple star marked. Okay. We're gonna sell them because I do really need to upgrade the stuff to be able to progress. But if it's purple star marked, I will save it. I know, but I don't have enough materials. Let me go cap, I know I have uh, softwood in this chest. Let me see if I have another chest. This, we'll, we're gonna, instead of, you know, a trash theme, we're just gonna make an island full of chests. That's all it's gonna be. Why does this one have a star on it though? I need it to make a chest. Is that going to be an issue or do I just collect that later? I was confused on why um, it had that. It's only purple star marked if you have a current quest. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to go make us another chest then. Let me go get the other ones. All right. That makes sense about the quest. Thank y'all for clearing that up. Sadly, I need to make a chest right now. So we're going to do that. I need to go actually find some more. When do, when do the uh, branches like spawn again? Cause I could desperately need some more. I thought I made Scrooge some signs. Does he need more than just two? Cause I just made two of them. I'm just shocked that I haven't found all the gems that I needed. Oh shoot. We are low on energy. 
I might need to find my way back to the house. Hopefully I have enough to at least break this. I don't even think I got anything good out of that. Alright, let's go get our, you know, self fixed up. There's so much wood over the plaza and meadow every five minutes or so it spawns. Even if I flattened my um, map. You know what I, I wonder I could go is to the forest because I haven't flattened over there. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm doing the story, but I'm right now I'm trying to money grind because I need it to upgrade the stalls. I need it to upgrade, um, you know, buildings. So it's like, I need to do the story, but it's like you also kind of need to grind to be able to do the story too. Like, I can't progress in it unless I have certain things unlocked. So it's like you're kind of forced to grind, you know? Each biome only produces one or two gems. That's good to know. Let's go over to the, um, the spooky forest vibes. Just save dream shards and nice shards and mushrooms and iron. What are the, what are the, um, dream shards exactly for? Because I know, I, like, you can craft them in, in the, uh, workbench, but y'all said don't do that. Save them for a quest. So what makes them so important? Or is that a spoiler? If it's a spoiler, you don't, you don't have to tell me. But I was just curious. I have not seen night shards yet. Um, oh, we got some new recipes. And my inventory is full again. Let's go sell the fish. Do not crush your dream shards. I crushed like 10 of them this morning. Is that going to mess me up? <laughs> I hope not. Alright, where is Goofy? So, night shards are black ones. Oh, I think I actually got some of those in my storage then. So, that's good to know. Alright, let's sell this and the fish. I need to make 10,000 to upgrade this right here. So we still have to do some grinding. And I still need to find more gems for the sea witch. So we are still, <laughs> we're still struggling over here. But at least we're finding some more branches. Y'all give me one second, I'm gonna mute my mic because I can feel a cough come in. Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry about that. It might, so don't do that again. Let's hope it doesn't. There are so many things that I've learned tonight because of y'all. Y'all telling me what I should and should do. So I, I appreciate y'all because I literally, I would have gone through the rest of my day just selling everything and not, not knowing that it would... It would, you know, screw me up. And yes, L's, there's so much content. Yes, we got them to level 10. I have a question. So you see the one where it says 1K, where the gold is? What does that exactly mean? I always wondered that. Like, what do these uh, pictures mean on the leveling up? If y'all can fill me in on that. Glad to know he's a uh, 10. Um, yeah, only use them for missions. You don't get many, and it's easy to earn Dreamlight. Oh, rewards and gifts I get. That's awesome. Okay. And yeah, there is a lot of content for early access. I think once I finish the main story stuff, I'll probably start trying to decorate, if that makes any sense. Like, I, I want to make the actual map look pretty. So I think after I finish grinding for stuff, I'll flatten everything and we'll try to make it a really nice, pretty, you know, magical place until the next update. And then we'll be, you know, playing some Dinkum and Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing while we wait. I'm gonna go ahead and fish while I see that because it seems like fishing is really helping me out with this grind. Level 10 gifts, like his hat, you get once you finish all of his quests. Gotcha. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for the information. Alright, let's see. Honestly, the fishing was kind of confusing at first, but now that I'm kind of getting the hang of it, it's not as bad. Honestly, though, compared to fishing like to Stardew Valley, this is easy as can be. 
The fishing in Stardew Valley, oh my gosh. Y'all, that is the hardest, uh, what kind of a bug was that? Y'all see that? Uh, the fishing in Stardew Valley stresses me out. I am absolutely awful. If you have not played Stardew Valley, just know the fishing on there will make you cry. It's so, it's so hard. And here's the deal. I still have not beat the main storyline to Stardew Valley, but the fishing is so hard that I ended up putting a mod on there to make fishing easier on me mentally. Like, I was just like, look, I want to play Stardew Valley with just, you know, mods that make the world look pretty, not nothing to change the story. But like for the fishing, I literally have no choice. I'll never um, progress because it is so difficult. Oh my gosh. I don't understand why they made it so hard. Because like fishing is an important thing. Oh great. Fishing in Dinkum is hard. Y'all, I'm, I'm going to do awful in Dinkum then. I'm going to do so bad. I, I'm just bad at fishing in general. So when you do stuff like Stardew Valley has and make it that difficult, that's an issue. I just, I hope that at least Dingham's not as bad as Stardew Valley. You can fish up seaweed in any water by not aiming for the ripples. Oh, and y'all, someone told me that the seaweed is really important to, to keep for like a quest. So I've been keeping it as well. Oh, I think we leveled up. 20. I can't believe how many de uh, decorations we have for early access. I cannot wait to decorate this and make it look pretty. Seaweed is easy to get though. Just fish in the water that's not bubbles and you get seaweed. That's good to know. I do, I think I have like seven. I think, yeah, I think I have like seven in storage. Gotcha. Okay. I will keep collecting the seaweed. Is it just me? Or is there no mines? Unless I'm like not seeing them. Okay. There's one right there. But we need more. Can I unlock other areas without progressing the story? I think I have enough dream, uh, dream light to do it. Or, or should I save that for the Wally? story i know i'm gonna be streaming by the way um dreamlight this upcoming week um if i can't stream before wednesday it'll be on wednesday but like i said expect animal crossing on monday probably tuesday as well and we'll probably do an animal crossing stream this week too also once you unlock the wells you can move them to other sides that you can't get to Oh, that's crafty. So, like, if it's blocked off, like, let's say, like, if there's, like, um, what's the word? Rocks. There we go. Uh, if there's rocks in the way, I can kind of, like, get past that by moving the well over there. Is that what you're trying to say? Save the mushrooms. I, I want to get this one, but I accidentally time traveled, not realizing it screws up the game. So I can't pick this one up. But I know now not to time travel, and I know now to save those. <laughs> that was one of the best tricks I've learned with the wells. Thank you, that's awesome. Okay, so my tools aren't upgraded, so that's very awesome to know. Like, thank y'all so much for letting me know that. Well, we need to mine still, and I'm not finding anything over here. Run to one side and teleport to the other side. That is awesome. Y'all, thank you so much for that tip. That is awesome. That's definitely going to be helpful. Oh, there's one right there. It was hiding. Cole was not kidding about them hiding them in every little corner. It's really hard to see at nighttime, too. Like, very hard to see. You need to meet the characters in the castle to start getting upgrades. Gotcha. I will probably do... I did... Um, Remy. Well, I can go. I wonder if I have enough dream light. Let's go see if I have enough dream light. I think I might. What do I have in my inventory? I need to clear some of my inv uh, inventory out, so let's do that too. Make a bunch of lamps and set them next to the mining 
Oh, that's a smart idea, Claire. I like that. I'll start doing that. All right, let me sell the flowers. I remember one of you told me not to sell the lobster, so I will not sell the lobster. Is that everything? I think so. Let's go store the rest. There's one hidden by the ice stairs too on the back right corner. Cole, thank you so much for that. They really do hide them good, especially at nighttime. I think that's what makes it so hard at night. I can barely see. All right, let's store all of these. Um, what else is in here? We got a nice little uh, collection going. Let's go check the other chest. I would suggest only having the forest and glade unlocked and then go to the castle to get characters in unlock Sunlit Valley. So should I not go get Wally right now? Because that was going to be on my next... I have Remy and that's it. I play mostly at night too. I usually play during the day. So like this is why I'm like, I can't there see nothing. Oh wait, I don't need to go here. I need to go get my other thing. All the biomes on the left side are super dark so the lamps help. Claire, that is literally the best idea. Do they have any like little mush lamps like on Animal Crossing to make it like super cute looking? Cause that would be adorable to have like that option. Um, ooh, I think I might have enough to craft us another um, storage uh, chest. Let's, let's go do that. Okay, I guess I don't have enough. I thought I did. I start with Moana, even though Wally is cuter than Anna. Okay. Well, thank you, Claire, for that tip. That definitely helps. I guess Moana does make sense because of the fishing. You can steal the lamps from the plaza. I cleared and flattened up all the way up here. We, we need to get the lamps. Um, all right, so how much money do I have? I wonder if I should plant more crops. Let's go see. Because I need 10,000 to upgrade that. So I guess we'll just spam some crops. Um, all right, spinach. I have no idea what that is because my webcam is covering it. I'm sure if there's mush lamps, I just bought the Scrooge inventory and plopped them down. I, I really hope they add some like, you know, fairy core like elements into a future update. Imagine having like mush items like Animal Crossing has, but like giant ones too. That would be so good. I would definitely turn the whole entire like, you know, map into a fairy theme easily. All right, let's see. Claire out here being the MVP in Dreamlight Valley for sure, right? And Cole, Cole and Sean on today's stream as well. Like out here with all the tips, I'm over here like, yes, please teach me how to be the best, uh, you know, player in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Let me hear from the experts. All right, I'm trying to be able to plant multiple, but I'm like, my timing is awful. Okay, there we go, finally. Yeah, this game is awesome. Els, you need to get the game. Please get the game so we can obsess over it on Discord. Like earlier today, it was me, Claire, um, I think Ice Studio, and a couple other people. We were over here just like sharing screenshots of our characters, uh, things that we've unlocked or tricks that we've done. So if you aren't in my Discord server, please do join because it'd be really fun to have, you know, more players, you know, enjoying that fun with us. But um, it's been a blast. And here's the deal. Claire has been wanting on my uh, on my chat. Uh, Claire has been wanting to talk about this game apparently for like several days now, but I didn't have it. So now that I have it, we can finally do it. Els, yes, I say get it, especially if you're struggling with Animal Crossing. It gives you such a nice break from it. Like I'm telling you, just two days off from Animal Crossing playing this has given me the inspiration to want to try out a fairy, um, a fairy core theme and a um, fairy tale theme. And that is something I normally would never do. But it's like, that's, a, that's like a new theme that I've never tried. But it's like, and even with that, I've been thinking about city core ideas that I want to do. The last like four days, 
I have not been able to think about city core stuff on Animal Crossing because I've just been so, I don't know, stressed out. And I get in these weird like design ruts every time I finish an island. If you're a regular follower, you know how that goes. I always talk about it. But I go like, I don't know, weird trial phase, don't know what I'm doing. And then out of nowhere, something will magically speak to me. And then Oakville, for example, that's a great example of it. I tried out like a speed build of it. And I was like, this is not going to be my next Animal Crossing island. And then it came out to become my next Animal Crossing island. So I'm hoping that's what's going to happen again. And Oakville was a style that I normally never do. And I've been having a lot of fun trying out like themes and styles that I normally don't do. Like, I love my modern city core. Always gonna be a sucker for it. Always gonna be a sucker for my Japanese islands, my tropical themes. But it has been really fun to try out like city themes that I normally don't do. So that is kind of like on my to-do list for the next few weeks. Themes that I don't do stay out of my comfort zone because my comfort zone is my Japanese islands. And I mean, I am working on a Japanese theme for my personal island and I will share it eventually. I have been documenting some of it, but I'm not ready to share it yet. So, but for my next like actual dream address island, I would love for it to be a theme I normally don't do. So yeah. Yes, Cole, this island, or this island, this game really has given me so much inspiration. I cannot wait to try out the fairy theme. I will have a speed build for sure on Monday of how that trial goes. We need to come up with a really nice magical name for oh, it. Hello. Maybe I can just name it after a Disney princess and call it a day. I don't know. Sadly, there is no princess or queen Claire, so I'm living my best life in Disney Dreamlight. Yes. I, I literally, well, I was thinking earlier, sorry, I can't hang out. I gotta play Disney Dreamlight Valley. Literally in my mind. All right, well, y'all, it's getting later and later. It's like 11.30 p.m. I think I've been streaming for a couple. How long have I been streaming for? Let's see. Trying to see how long I've been streaming for, but I can't find it. Oh, three hours. So I think I'm gonna call it a night on today's stream just because I do wanna try to get some rest, but tomorrow we will be live streaming again. It'll be Dinkum. And then I'm thinking if I get the extra motivation, maybe Tuesday, we can do another Disney Dreamlight stream. So let me know if you'd be down for that. And then Wednesday, if I stream Dreamlight on Tuesday, I can do Animal Crossing on Wednesday. So I think that's my plan. And then Thursday, um, yeah, Thursday speed build, Friday stream. How's that sound? So tomorrow, uh, around evening central time zone, I want to say it'd probably be around seven o'clock. Um, so maybe seven or 8 PM for tomorrow for Dinkum. Then Monday, Animal Crossing speed build Tuesday. If I get the extra time, we'll do another Disney Dreamlight stream. If I can't stream for whatever reason, cause it depends on my kid. It honestly, my child really does depend on when I can live stream. But if all goes well, we'll stream again on Tuesday. It won't be at nighttime. I just wanna let y'all know, it probably won't be at nighttime because that is a school uh, night for us. So it'll probably be like in the morning or like early afternoon. I'll let y'all know though, I'll keep you posted for sure. But I think that's my schedule for this week. So with that being said, thank y'all so much for a fun stream tonight. Thank you for all the likes on today's stream. If you haven't liked the stream, please do. It really does help me out. Um, thank y'all for the encouragement on trying Disney Dreamlight Valley. Again, thank you to Claire for getting me Disney Dreamlight Valley. I am obsessed with it. This is definitely one of my new favorite games. Um, if you're not in my Discord server, feel free to go join it. We will be talking about it on Discord probably until I fall asleep tonight. I will probably be still trying to find all the gems that I need to uh, get you know, that Ursula quest done. But um, I am getting kind of tired. I've been up since six o'clock this morning, so I need to go to bed soon. But uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. With that being said, thank you so much again for all the love tonight. What a fun stream it's been. And I guess that's a wrap. Uh, have a horrible day and night and I'll see you tomorrow.